Hello. In 30 minutes. No, it's in an hour and a half. And I have to make a filter, um, finish my pop so I kind of know what I'm even aiming for, uh, plan my atlas prep because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing, and try to get a little more of the practice run in. I, I did a starting run last night on Wish to Act 4. The plan is pivoted from play Pathfinder progression into Pathfinder bossing to play Necro progression into Necro bossing. Because I don't want to gear a Pathfinder, I don't want to level a second character, and it might be good enough. Like the the first time I tried to do necro bossing in standard, like I couldn't quite get it there defensively. I made some changes to it though, and like I killed every Uber, simulating for damage and life, like twenty times deathless. But like obviously they're not hasted. There's no Aziri, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I drop a taste of hate randomly, like while playing the Necro, maybe I'll pivot and go back to the Pathfinder idea. But uh, who knows? <laughs> it's not that it's even like too hard to gear. It's just like <laughs> I I just don't want to <laughs> do the grind. Like the hardest thing to get is probably damnation, but like every pob that I've made for every ascendancy is, is using that item. So it's like, if you already have damnation, getting the rest of shit to go Pathfinder. I guess Pathfinder has a lot of clusters that Necro doesn't need, and a lot more jewels that Necro doesn't need. But yeah, my expectation for the Necro if I get to bossing is like, I'll kill like anywhere from like three to six Ubers, kind of just based on how much I can game and then die and then fuck off, and go magic find or something. I, 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 I haven't actually played the build yet. Like... <laughs> Except for bossing. I, I've played it while bossing, but I haven't played the build in any capacity while mapping. My current practice character is in Act 4. Actually, I, I just took Malachi. So, hopefully it works out. And I'm going to be completing all T4s and T5s, so there's not going to be like a like, like a pivot to like, oh, actually, I'll just go farm these and go do... And no, there's no pivot. <laughs> We're all in. The alternative is we just log out and go play finals. When Wild Bird Ascendancy, I think what I'm going to do is get like low 20s, like level 22 or so, and hit like some sort of power spike based on my life and damage where I feel like I'm strong. And then I'm going to go get Bark Skin. And then I'm going to turn on Grace after I do Library. Turn on Grace Bark Skin for most of the campaign. Add in D-Term eventually at some point. It's just really weird to add in D-Term.
like it, it's just like you have to get like all of sovereignty and also like a mana mastery and even that it's only 13 percent mana unreserved and 13 percent mana unreserved is uh it's kind of shit no i'm not farming too first for the bow No, I'm not nervous at all. I don't really care what happens. I'm just clocking in, bud. You start with this event, you're gonna get fucking rolled. <laughs> if you log into this, it's your first time playing the game. So planning. First things first. I'm not sure what I even need to change from the TR filter. Scepters are honestly so dog shit to ID as this build. Like, you have to fear essence them. I think we have to use like an armory as chest for a while.
Mm. And we're definitely not playing evasion bases on this setup. This is armor evasion only. Uh, early game heavy bolts are fine. We'll get rid of it when we go 84, probably. I don't even know like what level we want Citrines to be. Probably like 72 or something. We never show too many rares, but I think too many is better than too little. Oh, these were fractures. We should still show. Yeah, we should just show all scepter fractures, actually, I think. Yep, looks good to me. Alright, filters are probably good. Uh, filters are good. Okay, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my Atlas. I'm gonna double check my uh, early game one, it's fine. It looks good. I mean, this build will be much better at killing essences than TR was. But if you do essences, then you like can't really do wildwood at the same time. And oh, yeah, I could just go like expedition harvest. Instead, and just like skip essence entirely, just go straight into those two. But I think getting like an early fear essence is really nice. I, I think I'm. Uh, let's just pull up the Atlas. But also, I started to finish the pob, but I can just make that up as I go along. It's fine. Also meat sacks, I'm gonna buy a few. I think we're gonna do like instant essence. But like not full essence and just do like this, but like skip these two essence nodes. So I, 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 I want some essences, but like I don't need a ton of them. We can just get a couple from the, just these three points. We need the instant full Kyrick. And then choices. 
I don't need that much betrayal. It's good, but like I don't like I don't need Diadem. I need like one or two Flask Grasp, like that's free. Yeah, like eventually you need minus mana craft, but like pre six link, I don't, I don't think you really need minus mana craft. I'm thinking we go to the school of Alkaiser, which is expedition. But we're like, we're so far from the good expedition nodes if you don't go up to the essence stuff. And it doesn't path into. into the place. Maybe we go to more delayed Kyrick. So we're not even taking any of these nodes here in the middle. Just go essence. Probably pass these, just go Essence, up all these 2%, up to Kyrick, and then take it all. And then go up here. And then just add in Harvest from this point. I need to be a spreadsheet for this. Start saving all these. Not muted. Oh, I can let it make us ten exposure. Like eventually we're going to be dropping this entire Kyrick section. But not for a pretty long time. Like I, I need to do like some weird shit where we like change my pathing but still stay connected to it. Because like I'm going to keep this part for a long time. Big boomer no balls. The thing with Big Boom is like, I mean, it's obviously it's really good, but it often does lower your rewards per expedition, and it does make it more dangerous. I usually take it. I uh, will see. It's kind of like a vibes thing. If I place too many barrels and get tilted, I'll just click the button. Like last gauntlet, I, I, I that that was leaked stories. I think where I went big boom, not gauntlet. Yeah, 
I don't think Bimbo was in the game last gauntlet. But it was like last league star race I did. In 322 or whatever. I really, really want to like, be crop rotation, but it's like so many fucking points. It's so many points, and I don't even know if it's like actually better. Obviously, it's better for if you need augments. I forgot if I even need augments though. Like TR need, needed augments. SRS needed augments. I don't think this build does. If we're adding in betrayal, I just don't need that much betrayal. But if we are adding in betrayal, it would be like right about this point probably. I'm pretty sure I'm just not gonna I, I'm just gonna make it up as I go. Cause like I I haven't done a practice run for this, I have no fucking clue what I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna kinda get to this point and then just kinda guess. Like this thing that I'll need to do at some point is like come do blight and farm some golden oils. But that's a temporary thing. Like you spec these points and then you unspec them. I just don't feel like doing full essence. Like the, the gear that I'm crafting, like I'm just gonna get like a, a couple for like some early fears and whatnot. Maybe we eventually go back into essence later on, but like. Like you can't do, so one thing about crop rotation is like when, if you're doing wisp maps, Crop rotation, god I fucking hate how wisps work with leave mechanic monsters. It's like, oh you make your expedition rare 10 times tankier and it doesn't drop more, more like scrap metal, it doesn't drop more artifacts, it just doesn't drop better stuff. Same for harvest juice. I, I like, they need to, whenever they make these mechanics like, like wisps, they need to modify leave mechanic rewards. Not just base quant rarity. It just feels so bad. To make something 10 times tankier and you just don't get more stuff. Map sustain through cure. You don't really need to invest in sustain when you're just running like low tier maps. Yeah, like with Sentinel, you literally control what was juice. You just wouldn't juice Harvest Monsters because there was no point. You just wouldn't juice Expedition Monsters unless you wanted to. You actually could. Like, those were kind of fun to juice. I'm not going to lie. You get more stuff from the monsters, but you get only generic stuff. You don't get more of the stuff the monster is dropping due to being a League monster. It's purely quant rarity, and then blue juice adds extra things to it. Which is really good in Tier League Magic Find. It, like, obviously, this is the most broken mechanic we've ever had. But, uh. It is fucking trash for, uh. Er, like, early game self found for these kind of mechanics. Like, it'd be sick if it just didn't empower these monsters. You know, if I, if I could just control it to not empower these monsters, I would love to waste the entire map except for these two mechanics. Same for essences and whatnot. Like Sentinel? Yeah, I mean, Sentinel was just a better version of Affliction in terms of like player agency. Obviously, in terms of, you know, how OP the rewards are, Affliction's better, but.
Now these keystones are pretty much never good. You know, you can't extend to the wildwood. If I if I was map hacking, you knew where they were. You, you no, know, you could. I mean that if you're just like charm farming or like corpse farming, there's definitely an angle where you clear the entire map and then you go to the wildwood and go for, look, look for for uh, vendors. There's definitely an angle for that. I need to check one thing. I'm a pub, making sure these are all on that monitor. I need to see what level I need to be for charm farming. Oh shit. Okay, so level 72 is the max level that I need to be for charm farming. That's nice. All right, so this is the uh, the leveling pub. When I did this last night, I'm like level forty right now. It's like up spell damage. Pretty much, I I just went straight up damage the whole way to get cruel prep as early as possible with the life mastery, and like skipped out on these things. Because this mastery is really good. And by doing that, you get life mastery before Braveil. And I, I think if you farm a little bit, you can get fire mastery before Weaver, but I think I clicked these. It's like life mastery, life into these, into fire stuff. And left over here, life, life. We grabbed Light of Divinity into more life. And then from this point, it's like, it's like it, we're running Gray Spark Skin right now only. And then adding in Determination requires like getting all of Sovereignty and Mystic Bulwark in the Mana Mastery. If you're okay with having, what was it, 13% unreserved mana? Like, 13% unreserved mana usually feels so shit. It's, like, so bad. So then it's like, do you have to go all the way to EB instead of Mystic Bulwark? Like, maybe if you had... Because that works. Like, just Sovereignty lets you run Determination. Actually, does it? Yeah, it does. Like, just Sovereignty lets you run Determination Gray Spark Skin. But you'd have no mana unreserved, so you'd have to go to EB. But the only way EB even helps you is if you actually have some ES gear. Which, usually, you do have ES gear. Because you're wearing a bunch of blue sockets. I 
I, I imagine if you have like 200 DS, you're probably fine. Let's see what my character looks like right now. One fifty. This costs thirty four. This costs thirty. My ES recharge would be twenty five if I had EB twenty five per second. It would, it would be sketchy at one fifty. We have like what one hybrid, one pure, and then like. No flat anywhere. Also, look at this character's gear. Look at this shit. <laughs> look at this resin act four. What the fuck is this? So unethical. Yeah, you get like Proud Application, Firewalker, this, this. Eventually you get Face and Steel as well. And then eventually you get Necromancer as well. Like we don't have the 30 from Necro yet, because this is unfortunately Uber Lab. I don't know about using Arcanist brand here. It adds a lot of cost per second. Like once you're ramped on court, like I feel like this isn't good. I think I'll just hex with this instead. Thank. What do we have? Right click. That's that's great. W is VD. Q and E curses. Yeah, there's plenty of keybinds. E bone offering probably. Until we get the uh, auto cast bone offering eventually. You have to have 4 second cooldown weapon to put curses in there, if it's 8 second, it's really bad. We're not going to have 4 second. There's two desecrates in here as well. I don't really care to do that, I don't think. Or faster charge instead, probably. Maybe inspiration on Divine Blessing.
I think in the early game, you definitely want the faster cast. Like, before you have, like, self-procking uh, bone offering, you definitely want faster casting on your bone offering. Because that shit is a super long cast time. And eventually we just pivot that whenever you get the weapon. But an offering lasts like a long time though, it's like 18 seconds. Alright, from here, what are we doing? So we need to come up here and get Suppressed Lucky. Grab Written in Blood, Enter Shadow. Probably some of that, and that, and that. And eventually Dual Curse, and we're level 97. We need offering effect too for some more block. And hopefully we fix our gear to not need these points. By this point, like by upper 90s. Can't get rid of this jewel socket until we get charisma. That's really like this. Why is it so often that the people that complain about builds don't even know what the build you're playing is? It's like they're just jumping on the bandwagon of whining. <laughs> it's so it's such a common trend. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Thanks to T one. than playing TR. I mean, you can play TR if you can tolerate the porcupine grind <laughs> and like the just play style. I just hate playing TR. Like, Caustic Arrow TR is fucking amazing. It's so fun. It's so good. But like, TR TR is trash. I don't have to change button in the last few days, like five. Yeah. 
because CA doesn't do any damage so you have really good, good gear. Like C8 is like one tenth of the damage of a totem setup. And TR is not strong enough in the early game of self found to skip out on a totem setup. Once you have like some decent gear, which is like six hours into trade league, then you can play CA. But not this early. I practice it just to make sure that I still hate it. Hopefully we'd be actual capped and not need the lucky anymore at this point. We got something like this. So we got early game into this. early game into this and I hate this whole part of the tree it's so weird it's like you come get melding and then once you have melding then you can go EB so maybe it's like melding into getting aura nodes and EB I mean the plan was to do like a full-on swap it's, I don't know, it's gonna be weird I'm gonna have to just kind of play it as I go and kind of just guess what I'm doing next I think at this point we're just gonna path to the right side and come get melding and as soon as I have melding, I can go ahead and start looking toward going EB. And then just add in sovereignty and EB and then determination. So like once you have melding, you are you can for sure play play this and it's fine. Get this button real fast and then see what it says. So this would be like Right, before Solaris and RS, like, as you're getting to, like, BA is when you, like, get to add that in. That feels very late. But you farm to, like, 53 in Chamber. It'll probably feel the same way that my Pathfinder felt, which is, like, when a Granite Fox is up, you're chilling, and when it's down, you're scared. That's probably what it's going to be. for Wildwood is go back towards the end of Act 2 and just get it. Just get it. Just Barkskin, only Barkskin for a long time. Do not play Ice Nova Trickster, what the fuck. If you are looking for a build to play and you don't usually like regularly get to like bosses and gauntlet play bone shutter drug don't consider anything else starting in 50 yeah i've got like my initial atlas plan i think my, my filters are functional hopefully uh I've got my tree plan. I've got my gems kind of planned. I know I need armor evasion, scepter shield, armor evasion, and then evasion ES. I have that on my leveling filter, so I should be able to have this when I'm entering maps. Uh, I think we're ready. I don't have my normal spreadsheet that I always make for like what quest rewards to take when, but like it's fucking Armageddon brand cream. I've done it a hundred times. That's fine. Didn't see anybody to do it with the full convergence transcendence pathfinder. Yep. I, I think the necro is probably not going to clear. The necro can clear with perfect play. It can clear. It's probably not going to. But like I, I don't want to farm out the pathfinder gear set and make a second character. If there was a Pathfinder, like, if Chain DD wasn't banned, I would play Chain DD Pathfinder and farm out a full Pathfinder gear set and it'd be fine. But 
no Pathfinder build feels good to like League Start and play forever. And I don't want to make a second character, so. So instead we do stuff that is not ideal. Rip the Necro and then what? Go play Finals or a different game that isn't fucking this cursed gauntlet. Maybe just magify and hardcore trade. Who knows? Not <laughs> League of Legends. Finals is bad. Finals is a pretty bad game. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. But it's fun sometimes. I do want a hard gauntlet. I don't like bands. Bands are bad. I'm sure if VD wins this gauntlet, then fucking there's gonna be people bitching like, "Wham, ban every single corpse skill, ban this, ban that, ban everything that's ever been played." And it's 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 cringe. It, that that's just the truth. Like, let us play Path of Exile. Ban Bone Zone, ban TR, ban Penance Brand, ban this. Like, fuck off. Ban ED, Transcendence is 2 OP. Ban Juggernaut, ban Champion. If I die today, I won't re-roll. I mean, if I die today, it's probably gonna be the campaign, not if we re-roll. But... Who knows? Like, just look at this gauntlet. Like, look at how many people aren't playing. <laughs> like, I don't want to play. I'm playing because I feel like I have to. And so many people just aren't playing. And it's because the rules are catered toward viewers instead of players. And if you keep catering toward viewers instead of players, there's not going to be any players. And there's nothing to fucking watch. What am I even clicking after this? I could just go for bigger exhibition if I wanted to, or like, if we're still doing yellow maps, pivot into more essences. For magic finding, we could add in some delirium. Are we able to start blocking stuff? Yeah, I'd probably do that. Probably just to block stuff to get more exhibition, more harvest. Just come out here, get block nodes, block nodes. Do 
Who's not playing? Steels is Quantric, Gucci, Huwu. And I'm sure a few others that I couldn't instantly name off the top of my head. Lily's not, but she's been playing different games for a while. Yeah, casting is not playing. <laughs> Get four streams on, let's fucking go. Any different form of entertainment? Yep. And if, <laughs> uh, yep. And there's like, Three more people quitting from there being literally no one to cast <laughs> because no one's playing. No, it's not just they've a few skills. It, it, it's a variety of reasons. It's like self found is kind of bad in this game right now, and also the gauntlet is really hard, and also there's bans at the same time. It's a it's a variety of reasons as to why, why people aren't playing. myself on bad because they don't really do skill balance anymore and like the hardcore stuff on the meta has been the same for fucking years and years and years and years and the crafting and like overall character progression is just simply worse than it was you know back in 318. Yeah, the the, trans, the the full transfig requirement for Uber has also killed so many builds. Like, if you're like, I'm gonna load up TR and boss, nope, fuck you. I'm gonna play BFEB, nah. SRS, maybe. Like, you can play the transfig version in some setups, and it's like, okay. But, like, yeah. I mean, ban bans are very different than a competitive game like League than this. Yeah, Quadric. <laughs> uh. Spamming Flame Dash. If I hit level 10 first, I'll go and get that bounty. Probably should open this Discord and have the bounty submission thing ready. What is that one? Like, submit. Uh, what is this one? Fire Fury. It's what that one's going to be called. I'm gonna get my own bounty. That bounty is there. The reason that Slayer Bone Shatter bounty is there is so I can 
talk shit to Karn when it doesn't get claimed. That's the only reason it's there. <laughs> no way! Open up all this stuff, all two of my fucking Alice trees that I have planned, and this. All right, I'm pretty sure we just killed a uh, Malachi on this, on this character. And quiz can survive. Everything can, like as long as your skill can function while playing, like Dechem Grace, Defiance Spinner, Barkskin. Everything can survive as long as you can run those auras and do enough damage. I think here the only thing we ever use is Hexbloom. What do you Never using any of those. I should have Shield Charge here, ideally. I definitely have socket space for it. No red green though. I definitely I don't like conk on Karima. I should just use combustion instead of conk, I think. ML8. Oh yeah, 38 I can get ML8 instead of conk. But even before then, I definitely would want to... Combustion, and then we just change... Like, I just don't like conk, it makes it too small. Where's the boss at? What the, why is he over here? Come back, bud. Unethical oh, boots. I'm just gonna run to chamber real fast, and then I'm gonna probably do a, like an act one run or some shit. I have so many empty sockets. I really need to make a bigger effort to get Shield Torch here. Just a lot faster.
Where were we? We just finished like most of the stuff. Haven't gotten the other fire nodes yet. This is definitely a life angle. Life angle into armor angle into... Then I think we fuck off to the right. We go to melding, to EB, to aura nodes, turn on the termination. I can turn on Tempest Shield as soon as I go EB and then pivot that to uh, like D-Term once I actually have more stuff. I need to stop walking up and fighting that boss. Like, there's no reason to even like let him attack me. He always does so much damage. Yoink. Where's an icon? It's Cruelty. Yeah, I was going to play TR, and then I played the TR run to Porcupine Farming, and it's just... It's... It's just not fun. Like, TR, just like... Pure TR self found is just not fun. Like, I, I can't tolerate it. For the amount of time I would need to. I tried to see if maybe I could get away with playing CA and white maps, but like, it's just... It's not there. Like, TR is functional as, like, a self-owned fresh start build in base league, like, barely. It's, like, it's just, uh, it's just so painful in gauntlet mods when they have DR. If, if this was, like, 317 gauntlet, where it was, um, it was just a bunch of damage mods and haste mods, but there wasn't generic DR, it was only unique DR, I think I for sure could play TR. But, like, 30, 40, 50% less damage taken generic for every single monster, TR is not strong enough to, like, mitigate that and still feel good until you have good gear. And the path to getting good gear is like 30 hours of actual fucking despair. I'm pretty sure I would just quit. Oh, people are going to die in the campaign a lot. I'm terrified of the climb. Like, the climb, burning arrow guys do so much damage. The climb bounty on the first go. That's like a level, like level, what, 18, go back into the bounty or some shit angle. That's like a pretty hard bounty to do, just because it's hard to even get him double empowered. As long as you're only 10 levels over, you can spawn the mechanic. I think 18 is too high, it's like 16 or something, because the climb is level, is level 7 zone, level 8 zone. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm kind of chilling in this zone, and this is like where we grind for the next 10 levels, and then by the end of that, we'll definitely be chilling. When we first get here, it's like probably like a tiny bit sketchy, but like, even these little solar guys don't do that much damage. It's really just like, don't get surrounded and meleeed to death by a bunch of people. I should also get my Granite Fosk when I first get here. Like, if I have Granite Fosk up, these things do no damage to me. Like, at, at the waypoint, maybe I can do that. We're getting contract. No, don't contract me. That was an insane logout. Holy fuck. Hope that doesn't happen in the actual call it. <laughs> no donuts were good. TCP doesn't help with that. You just don't see it when it happens in your TCP. You just don't even know. You press enter and it says connecting, 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 and then you're dead. Oh 
All right. Yeah, as soon as I get the chamber, I should go come up here and get the granite. ID the granite. Hopefully it'll see less duration. It says less duration. Reduce duration. Reduced effect. I'm like scared to even augment it because there's negative prefixes and suffixes. And then at this point, we would just already have big life and then we're kind of chilling. With granite plus up, we're very strong. With it down, we're not. We got four slots, that's good enough. Oh, I need my uh, vendor script to check for this. Blues, blues. What's green? Green, red is for Templar. We don't need that on this setup. Maybe just blues, lots of blues. BRB. I'm probably not going to have time for an Equin run. We'll see. It'll be close.
scarf. Alright, 17 minutes. That sounds like it's time to do a mud flats run. Why do the keen of mind seek to satiate? So I think the plan for mud flats is you swore sinew and Bro, can, can Templar even kill Hillock? Wonder what is the order I should do my mules in? I, th I think we're doing three mules. Well, two mules in my actual character. Um, one Templar to get Ellie Prolif. One Ranger because it kills you like the fastest to get like a Coral Ring, and the actual Witch. And then by doing that, we get nine Wisdom Scrolls to get two Coral Rings. And like some wands, and hopefully a three blue. There's no way this guy's actually at 75, right? He started halfway through, that's fake. It's real? I mean, he's not gonna win. He has eight lives left. Oh, there goes one of them. <laughs> so we got no three blue here, so we're just going to buy a coral ring. I should check this vendor first before I do that, before I ever commit to buying something. And then we stash everything. Oh, I didn't migrate, fuck. There you go, Templar. Jung not playing. I'm pretty sure Jung's playing. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of runs. Is this stream not on yet? It's almost time. Or we should just always log and come check the right guy first. Here we get rolling magma. We search for three blue. We see there's like actually fucking nothing. Now they know three blue. Not bad coral. We're just gonna stash everything. I should vendor all the stuff to you for more scraps for the witch. And then it's witch time. Still no three blue. Goal of the first session, don't die. That's it. That's the only goal. My team on Twitch is crazy. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I 
still in Golden Guardians. I, I, I figured they would have just dissolved that Twitch team by now, so I didn't bother like leaving it. Leave the hat on. And here, it doesn't matter what we take. Just grab another rolling magma. We got a three blue, but it's a chest. You really don't want it to be a chest. We'll grab a goat and a coral. I need to vendor all this garbage before I shouldn't stash all the trash. I need to like actually vendor the trash. All my first characters so that it's better. Like we'll keep momentum for our shield charge, but like all this scrap that we're never gonna wear, we need to destroy on the first character. We have these gems and a goat. We have still have a bunch of wisdoms. So we're gonna buy boots and gloves here. Greetings. And they're all everything's like blue now. God, vendors suck nowadays. Our gear is way worse than it normally would be at this point. Kind of low rolled a bit. It's like all ES bases, no armor evasion chest, no three blue wand, so we can't like wear an armor evasion chest. Let me walk and hopefully don't die. Like, monsters are going to be, what, 10% faster than this? This league's 20% already. I shouldn't let cannibals follow me to the, uh, door. Not fire-breathing cannibals, at least. So normally you have like a lot more armor innovation at this point, so these rows are going to do big damn. We're going to grab this helmet instead of the one I'm currently wearing because it's better. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have cast it. <laughs> Is that cold Roas? There's no way it's cold Roas. Let's, let's peek. Oh my god, it's cold Roas. It's cold Roas. I don't like... Do, I don't know what row is worse, like fire ignite resistant rows because you literally can't kill them, or cold rows because they chill you and kill you. I think it, this is a isn't this a left exit? Because it was directly above me. There's no way it's this far left. Wouldn't it have given me a quest icon? Because like the boss was here. I thought direct above the entry was the only left exit. Or it's like a top left left exit. Voila. Swift and silent, you stole the bounty of others. 
crow the plot. You swore sinew and soul to serve. Why do the keen of mind seek to satiate their curiosity in darkness and depression? Yeah, so it's 30% haste, 30% damage, 20 physics chaos. So practice league was 20, 20, no physics chaos. So it's 10% higher haste, 10% higher increased damage, and 20% physical chaos. This is going to be a fucked campaign. Yeah, there's no area in campaign, whereas there was area in the private leagues, like that is nice, but... Break submission before breaking the eggs. Eh. Alright, we're gonna do... Maybe the Templar Mule first, I guess. This is the hardest one. We have to fucking kill Hillock with these mods. Whoa. June State Farm as Jug and White Maps. I think June State Farm and White Maps on literally every build. Like, White Maps are only a little harder than Base League. It's fine. Yellow Maps are where it picks up again and gets kind of cracked. Lamp Trace was harder. I should probably verify this filter actually works. I went pro before mud flats. You have to play tempo to get that. Grath is going for the Feta Bounty. Ooh, Havoc's a Templar. I wonder if that's for the uh, Flame Dash Bounty. A Mule? But like, it's a real name. Usually Mules are like this. No way, do 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 do. I'm scared. One sec, gotta put my laundry in the dryer.
Oh, there's Jung Roon, hot balls supplier. Oh, 10 seconds. Not even close. It's time to die. Ben dies to Roa, has died at rank one on the ladder. I probably shouldn't have left those crabs do so much damage to me. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the hillock. We got long strand. Victory! We're gonna vendor all of this stuff. We're keeping this. Oh my god, I should have turned off these notifications. We're keeping these things and vendoring the rest. We're getting rolling magma. Any three blue? Any three blue? No three blue. Get a coral. Onto the ranger. Now. I'm scared. You guys are already in the mud flats. Oh my god. Rank one down. We're not going to vendor that. We're going to vendor the rest, though. Keeping the momentum and that. Getting a random green gem, vendoring all this shit. No three blue or anything useful. Wow. Fuck me up, I guess. Oh my god, my stash isn't set up. I migrated all out of, in, out of hardcore and never set it up. Rip. That sucks. Oh, whatever. M minus like five minutes when I finished campaign. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Hi Tai has entered the submerged passage. Yeah. 
Well, uh, hopefully we don't get fucked on a... On this vendor. Well, well. That'd be a no three blue angle. Tragedy. So I have five of these. I could grab a chrome for that. We're getting a scale vest. I guess we're gonna grab like a hat and some boots. Stay sharp out there. Yes. And a bell that comes to transmit GG. No three blue with three fucking vendors. That's wild. Skill issue? Yeah, so it would seem. I'll do it. Stop it. Ah, fleet. Oh dear. Fire ignite resistant. Why? 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 Why me? Why? Why? Seriously, why though? Wait, how are there so many rows here? Do I have to go past them again? They're not gonna see me. They're not gonna see me. We're out of there. Easy. Imagine dying to Rose in 2023, 2024. Eminent Mudflats, yes sir. The triple mule to be safe. Like having and Tate are both going for the flame or the, like the flame Nash bounty, right? Level ten bounty, basically. Zooming. My goal is simple: don't die like that guy just did. I forgot the rules if I, if I turn around or not. 
Guys, when I check the vendor, there's gonna be a three blue wand, right? Stop that. Yoink. How'd that reach me? He doesn't even have increased area. He's shooting. I don't... Oh, what do we got here? I don't think it matters. Is there not three mana pots in this? I'm not sure there's not. Uh, unlucky. Get rid of that. Maybe a three blue? A three blue goat horn. Wall again. Got away flame wall. Or flame tunnel, I mean. Any other three blues? Nope. Fucking three blue sword. <laughs> three blue sword. Uh, I need a vendor to get my sapphire ring. Whetstone, I'm rich. Dead. I died. In a second, Goat's Horn. Can surge it, put that there for now. Burst into the fed of pools, he's there. The wait, I, I didn't grasp that have like a really fast fed of pool. I figured he would have been like there by now. Bro, stop shooting me. I have cold damage archers in here, it's so so not ideal. Actually, keep that over there. Level some stuff later on. A downward ledge is cold damage archers. I pretty much can't press frost blank in case I like walk into them. Gotta be able to flee. Killing literally every monster for XP. I wish I had a level alien filter. What was this thing that dropped? Mana flask. Big. Big. Rip nano.
wonder how many of those like level eight, level seven deaths are dying on the climb. Like, the climb is the climb is fucking spooky. Like, I think my chance of dying in the climb is about the same as my, my chance of dying to Uber Eater when I get there. We gotta prep for it. Alrighty. Ooh, move speed, let's go. Alright. Here we go. The hardest zone in the game, right here. Rip jump. <laughs> Was that in the climb? I wonder. Oh, they're flanking me. Normally, I'd, you don't kill this guy, but like, I want to have the option to walk backwards if there's like a lot of like blues up here or something. like a victory. Oof. Hardest zone done. Unless there's one pack here. Easy. Free. I'm gonna grab combustion, put this back over here, hopefully. We're gonna put this over here because we should be able to get a uh, A better thing at this point. A goat. Back to RuneScape. Did you win? You get the bounty, you out. I killed by normal goats. <laughs> I didn't see a roof, I missed it. I died to this fucking little zapper guys in one of my runs. Let him hit me? No. I'm scared of him. Ooh. 
Uh, it's a zombie. The master of metal has died. Rest in peace, brother. Oh, I got a sub or What is this shit? Get me out like that. <laughs> Yoink, bye. I'm taking less damage than I thought I would in the campaign. I probably shouldn't say those words, I'm kind of jinxing myself, but like I really thought I would take a lot more damage from things than I am. Yep, shouldn't have spoken. Instant stun lock. <laughs> Oh, instant, instant stun lock by some little guys default attacking me. Classic. Top that, where do I go? Is it straight down? I should it wasn't. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, no clue where to go. Looking like a downward, like right loop, I guess maybe. What's the Murvale bounty again? I'm sure I can do that one actually. Like no quicksilver, no move skill. Is that it? There's also no, no totem. And the totem? Okay, I like that. What the? How did that hit me to my totem? He's shooting. That is a lot of fire damage of spells, holy fuck. No rings we can grab. Is there a leather belt? There it is. Grab my flame dash. That is a lot of damage in those guys. Oh, they're exposure. I think that was a rare not play pack, so it shouldn't be a repeat. Bro, stop stunning me. Stop stunning me. Fuck that. <laughs> I should have put Flame Dash on. <laughs> I, I saw like 10 goats that are blue. Where's my Flame Dash at? <laughs> there was so many blue goats.
I, I saw the future. I know it was about to happen to me. If I if I press any button, they all just leave my head and watch on me. Go ahead and put on one of these rings for this zone. Stop. Who's winning on the reveal right now between XL and Havoc? I think they're, they're both going for the bounty, I think, right? Excel's crushing them. Love to hear it. Havoc slightly ahead. Oh shit. It's gonna be one of those ones that's decided by who submits first, not by who actually kills it first. And that's the wand. Yeah, I know. It's sick. I got it. GG. Big money. Fuck you. I don't know where the exit is here. I think it's up here to the right, probably. I'm just afraid to press flame dash because like 30% hasted like fire squids can just kill you so fast. Like I want to flame dash, but if I finish on a bunch of squids, I'm just gonna explode. I don't want to explode. She's like one shot at my totem. Oh, it's not any strength. I 
I think I had an amber amber here, here last time. What the? That's some bullshit queuing. Fuck you, Merveil. We got two sapphire rings, it's fine. Close. Uh, that's the kind of thing, like, if you don't have sapphire rings, like, you actually can get one shot by that shit. She can't cast that ability in melee, but if she queues it up while she's, like, if she chooses to queue to queue it up while you're at range, and then you enter melee range of her, she can then retarget and hit you in melee, even though, like, it shouldn't be able to be possible. It's something that a lot of bosses can do, and it's really spooky. Like for a greater life last year. Like a topaz as well. Early Magma, it's just like one of the best skills for damage, because like technically if you aim properly, you can hit twice. With one attack, and when you're double hitting, it's just the highest damage skill for campaign. Thirty haste is like actually so much faster than twenty. <laughs> Extra life spell resistant bear. Fuck yeah. Like the boss bear was like a third as tanky as the arch number. Mm, nope. <laughs> Freezes you, spawns an exile, cast firestorm. Okay, I get it. I'm not welcome. Quicksilver, nice, no restoration, didn't get fucked. Minus one scroll, but you gotta take the risk. We're gonna grab practical application now so I can actually level up my totem. I'm not gonna open that. Excel Mule. I'm sure he did less than me because he was fucking zooming. But also, I, I, I'm playing the campaign so safe. I just don't want to die. Like, I'm going to over level. I'm going to do bad shit. I'm going to be slower than I should. I just don't want to die. Yeah, dying is not the good shit.
when the usually when you're doing campaign, you're three levels under. So if instead you're three levels over, it's a six level swing. So much damage. <laughs> That's so much damage considering I have the Topaz Ring and Party Lification. A mule in character in Act 2? Nope. No, it is not. Hit my totem, hit my totem, it's right there. It's shooting you, continuously attack it. Sir. Seething? Unlucky. Uh, I need to grab wave. Bro, Einhardt, are you fucking serious, dude? He's one HP. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Ziggy D. For 26 white socket bounty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep every unique that I find. Thanks for the primes. Ooh, is that a chromatic orb? Yoink. Did you know that with Twitch Prime you can sub for free? Do you hate advertisements? I do. Thank you. Pop it. For every damage event fucking stuns me.
XDD business. For real. Uh, we're gonna ID gloves. And use those. Do that. Get this and peak my resist. <laughs> Beautiful. Here's the primes and the D1s and the primes. It's going forever, it's never gonna stop. What kind of shrine is this? It's like it's the kind that sends me to standard league. Oh my god, a seething! The fire boss in the coast, you run past it. <laughs> You skip a lot of stuff in Gauntlet. Yo, thank you for the gifts. I forgot to go back to you before I went to the place. Ding, ding, ding. Let's see, I need some transmutes and some alts. We're gonna ID the chest for sure. It's pretty bad. We can ID this one too. That's. Mm. Yeah, I think we do that. Gain some life, lose some armor. Get rid of this and this. Did that guy just throw monkeys at me? What even was that? And that and that. Well, what does that sound? Is that bits? Let's be a TR Pathfinder. Yeah, something happened and I changed my mind. <laughs> Make sure the one cent. Where's this Oka? Not again? Yeah. Yeah. If I politely ask you guys to not do one bit things, do, can you can we work that out? Politely. Ooh, ooh. Holy shit. Jesus, that one goes hard.
there's greatness in you. You've proved that without a doubt. You can keep your good self. What? Travel far. Stop laughing. Ah! I don't know what these sounds are, but thank you? <laughs> I, as you can tell, I haven't really put much effort into configuring my stream elements thing. $50 reduce? Holy! to fight the evil spider the lady. Nice and safe. What trouble? Going? Don't need any of the support gems for now. I kind of want to get my uh my wildwood thing before I do Val Ruins. What zone can I do that in? Is it? It's a level sixteen zone. Broken Bridge, maybe. Purple.
purple. Purple! Dude, it's always fucking purple, I swear, in campaign. Stash some of that stuff. Purple. Yellow. There's more yellow down here. Just let me get the fucking bark skin. Hey, Bark's gun. A good fire should keep you go with Maka's guidance. Courage and righteousness shall be your. I curse your lab, it's all resist. Rip that guy. This is one's far left, not down here. Where am I going? Fuck off, snake. Attack my totem. Attack my totem. He's not meowing. Meow. Meow. Meow.
I hate fucking green life last man. 10 and 25 is so bad. Alright, what's our red beast? Sub this guy. I like doing Einhard here just to get the quest done. I can put CB on my shit later on in the campaign. Alright, so we have all the initial witch stuff, now we have to fuck off to the left, Templar, we don't really get much stronger for a while. Alk got Tears of Purity, badass. There's... That fucking Excel Shrine Bears? No, it's not. It's fair. I need some alts, Organ ID stuff. Not using the amulet. Uh, it's just not indeed. I don't think it does anything for us. It's not only attack damage and accuracy and stuff. I guess that's a lot of Asian. It's something. Yo, I've had this layout the last three battle runes in a row. Blind aura. Oh shit, I realized I had that too. That's kind of OP. I guess rarity is kind of useful too for uh, getting more rares in the campaign for better gear. Usually you have to take it off though to have enough decks to play the game. But I have decks in these gloves, if I keep these gloves on for a while, I can maybe get away with wearing this for a long time. It's like pretty good accuracy, not accuracy, like evasion and blind aura is kind of good. Even as high res. If that was fire damage to like spells and attacks though, oh my god that'd be nuts. I should have killed him before he went down. More like pure like evasion boots, or is that armor evasion? Yeah, they're bad. I am in the stage of looking for a decent shield now to put on.
Oh, come back. This guy's going to the menagerie things every time. This was the boss, but I think that the boss is down. AD and Krima like very close to each other. That's neat. Need a better life pot. Need to get a giant. Is that a trail of fire rare. What are you doing? Careful. I peek for a four link up here. Drink flam. You're peeking for a four link and like a better uh, shield. Like a good shield. Don't really see either. I forgot if I saw the sewers already up here somewhere. Oh yeah, they're on the left. On window capture? No, I'm not.
Or am I plus empty? Didn't I just level up? Rip George. Four links again, although vendors don't refresh anymore, so there's not going to be any. The only one shield, the bad shield. Fire ignite resistant. A lot of BS on that. To the prime and the T1 in the prime. Coach Prime. That's a usable four link for Karima. God damn it. I did this on my Heather run too. <laughs> in my last practice run. <laughs> oh, whatever. Minus 20 seconds. Yo, plus embezzler ghost? Plus embezzler? Worth? What? Was that not an embezzler? I must have misread the ghost. As a smuggler? Oh. 
Hit my totem. Off me. Oh, is that a duelist going for the first uh first lab? The the speed he was running through zones makes you think it definitely is level twenty four. Yeah, that guy that it's it's a hard lab today. It's gargoyles and uh, lieutenants, so I wish him luck. Like he was zooming through zones, like Solaris one to two, like instantly, just leave like, something probably. What? What do you want? Did I not pick up the ribbon spool either or something? I didn't get the soul fight. Bro, I full cleared that dox. <laughs> oh, I'm venting. All right, fuck it. Get back track. That's actually a lot of time lost. How did I get sulfite? Didn't I literally full clear dox? We're just gonna, we're just farming for more XP, guys. It's fine. New zone. Get the waypoint now? Yeah, I will. I don't know why I didn't grab it last time. I did it in my practice run too. Alright, let's double check, right? There's nothing in this for me. Fuck, that was a four link back there. <laughs> What's the four link? Armor, yes. Nice. It all goes according to plan. Krima 4 link and Armageddon Brent 4 link already. It's a good base, too. Oh, I didn't full clear. I, I stopped like without doing the top section. Oops. All right, it's in the inventory this time. So I can do that, and then I can... Res check, I need like a cold and a firecraft. I think I can just fire essence this. Hit life, unfortunately. Old craft there. I'm just gonna leave that open for now until we have to do it later. So 
we need um, we need a cruelty for this uh cruelty and LA focus for the crema we need a desecrate then we need a bust as well So we have a res craft slot available there and there. We're pretty much already good for res for the next act. But I'm gonna try to you know get some better bases, some more life and stuff. I'm gonna go grab this and get my proper gems. Or I'm gonna die to these assholes. Could be a good shield. Uh, it's probably fine. Can't see it though. Should we need this deck? So we don't nice. I like that armor though. Stop it. I kind of want to chrome these gloves and if we can get red green to be nice. Maybe a shield charge once we get to a uh, library. Azaro down, GG. Seventy-five decks. That should be enough for Grace, right? I'm so slow. 
I'm so slow. I'm so slow. I need to buy D term. Grace, shield charge. Drop bark skin like four days from now, probably. I don't really know. I, I've never put this build before. I don't like really know how my gearing is gonna go when I can drop it. We're kind of just making it up as we go. Bro, fuck off, Rose. I should have kept one of those points. I, I'm pretty sure I have enough dex for grace, but I'm not like positive. I think it's 72 or something. Hope it's not 76, that'd be annoying. Bro, I can't loot that because they're not phasing. That's the kind of shit they really need to make sure they fix in Poe too, if they're gonna go to phasing. Like the pickup radius needs to be bigger. Find a term, grace, charge. I'll just grab faster text too, I've got enough transmutes. That that little seven logged out. Yeah, back to old Torun's keep. <laughs> Side zones breaking my layouts. How dare you?
I just immediately run that out of all my creations. Sure. Sure. Just do that. We have no mana. It's too late for regret. Damn you. Be careful. The Duhan is now. We have life on our chest, so we can't get the mastery, unfortunately. Let me go do that now, actually. Grinds level 32 in dogs. Holy fuck, he's grinding. Spooky. I hate this part of lab. <laughs> it's so scary. This could be a huge shield.
Die, Barkson. Barks in Greece. Is here to the watch me pull the transition that I want for my first lap. Anime protagonist. I did kind of cheat a little bit. I, I prepped my RNG last night by failing six coin flips in a row and running like 50 Merc Labs. Although I was prepping it for TR, but I used to transfer it over to this one too. I don't know. Yeah, still saw TR Spore Burst. Killing enough stuff for mana pot charges. The density is just so low in these zones. Once on BD, after Katava. I'm thinking I'm doing offerings in Cruel Lab. It's like you don't start blowing up a lot of corpses until Merc Lab anyways. And like, Corpse Tech does nothing for this build, it's so weak. Where'd you go?
This world is an illusion, Pixar. Your card is fucking grinding XP. 32 in docks is crazy. I respect it though. Sell no wildwood yet? Yeah, I mean the way you level witches is totally up to you. You know, there's there's a lot of different strats you can do. This what I'm doing is what I believe to be the safest strat, not like necessarily like the best strat. It's just like I want to, I do not want to die in the campaign. I do not want to die in the campaign. Like you definitely don't need bark skin at this point. Like when I did this my run yesterday, I didn't have bark skin until the end of like four. Like. This is just full safety, man, because Bark Skin's like kind of broken in early game. When you're at 10 Bark, you get flat minus 150 damage from, from a fist hit. It's only attacks though, right? I think it's only attacks. Yeah, it's only attacks. So like, it basically just means from physical attacks, if you're at 10 Bark, you don't take damage. That is an insane bow. If I was playing TR, what the fuck? I'm watching you. Gonna keep that. Just in case. Second point before 45. I don't. I'm not getting the second point until I'm Kiesa's captain maps. Because I'm not. You, you can't play empty sockets on this build. It's not possible. So all we're doing with second point is getting detect evil, and then the third point is like two 10% quant nodes. So if yellow juice, it's very very low value points. We're not going back in the wildwood for a long time. Like not until I'm basically strong enough to just like kind of juice them at my maps. I'm paying for my stint with this one. Ooh, I don't have any mana. Ghost Ride. Need you, you, you. I'm gonna portal out instead of clearing with the uh, empty flasks. Yes. Go where you are needed. On 34, we can just go ahead and move forward. We have an instant colossal now, which is really good for not dying. Not well, usually 10 alt on that. It's like six alt average to get one of the three instant things. It's ethical. It's allowed. Yeah, I fucked up my affinities, so I'm gonna lose some time when I get to maps, unfortunately. I think it likes me. Like, I actually remembered to check it, and then I went and had to AFK like a minute before like, doing like a practice run, and I just forgot. Like, I, I remembered this morning to do it, and then I just forgot to do it after remembering the tragedy.
Yeah, it takes some hardcore self found, but I migrated my hardcore self found to hardcore trade. And you have to create a character in hardcore self found to pull your stash from hardcore uh, permanent trade or hardcore hardcore permanent self found. You have to just make, like make one character. Like after you migrate, and I didn't do it. I I, I usually go and kill Hillock as well. I go kill Hillock and then uh. Just double check the stash. I don't know if you have to, but uh, oh, that's bad up there. I'm gonna kill this spider. Just to make sure I have enough yellow beasts to get uh, CB and BA. Oh, I have to run past the stuff. This guy is lovely. Lovely. Maybe I can go around on this way actually. A lot of evasion. I don't think I have any life crafts available anywhere. Just a bunch of res crafts. Big life node next level. I need more mana. More mana. That's so many chickens. That is a very nice build. A little bit of life loss with some flat armor and stuff. A lot of res. Chicken incident. I had some flashbacks right there, I'm not gonna lie. But I actually have 400 armor with bark skin right now, which is nice. I don't know, I'm killing this guy, but I'm committed. I need Dex. But I want to go for Precision instead of an actual Dex node. Maybe I can get some cast speed and attack speed stuff. We'll just delay our grace leveling by like a little bit. Dex, now Dex. Dexterity. I do a lot less damage than I did my last run. Not sure why. Rip Sarge.
I'll wait in a second to get my, my bark skin stack up. This is over leveling. <laughs> I'm watching. Normally, I'm level 34 here, 35 maybe. We're gonna big over level as long as I can survive the Chamber of Innocence. That's when we go like level 55 or some shit in like Act 5, we go way over level there. Make sure my bark's gonna stack before we go in here. Be happy for this. It's not often we get to erase our fate. Yeah, she is fast. I wish I was level 40. I have much better points. Like, my next three points are all really high value. On to Doadre. Doadre killed me in base league this league. On a witch. On Armakuma witch. Gonna be fine, yeah, we'll see. Shut 
Shav. I didn't plan this, I literally thought of it as I walked to Shav. I was like, what if I just turn Bark Skin off for, for Tempest Shield? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let my bark skin step back up before I move. Okay. You and I are about to create the most Arcane Chambers is a Valside zone. We'll go to bed now, little girl. Or do I need to tuck you in? Ow, 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 ow. Like this mana pot sucks. I need hollowed. Hollowed is when it's actually a decent mana pot. Shellfish. Should I grab this the scepter? I didn't see it. Till too late. A decent chill chest. How many alks do I have? 
thought I had Alex at three. I forgot what I get from the quest here. I think it's nothing from the quest, and I can get Emily from uh from buying it. I think. Like GMP, if you played that. Oh no, you get Emily from the quest. Okay. I'm gonna chill for a second. Let bark skin stack up. That's one thing I hate about bark, bark skin. It's like it, it's bugged and doesn't gain stacks until you've been in the zone for four seconds. A little annoying. See if you have a heartbeat. That's just the thing that Pathway Exile does. If I restart my game, it'll stop. And then if I play for, you know, 8, 10 plus hours, it'll happen again. The reason it's happening now is because I created like 10 different characters uh, and logged in all in this session, and that makes it happen as well. Opening a bunch of div cards makes it happen as well. There's a few different things that all cause it. It'll just proceed to get worse and worse the more I play until I restart. That is an insane amount of armor on a shield. Bro, fucking 400 armor. I have so much armor for no D term. Alright, let's go cold lightning here. As long as I can rest cap with that, I think it's good. Remember, we do this for freedom. I kill all on Witch. You get too much all res to help Lyra. This zone is a little spooky with Lightning Surge guys. We're gonna... We're gonna take it a little slow. Almost there, two zones away. Thank 
Uh, let me do this. I don't want to do one life part yet. Yoink in the solid mana. I want like ample ideally, that's fine too. a lot of solar guards. Not so free, huh, bud? Oh, it sounds like an Act 4 death. Level 38, or 35. Zyro pulls a machine gun, get him. Spell resistant.
I'm so fucking slow. This could be a pretty good chest. It's already four socketed, so I can fuse it if it uh, it goes big. Uh, life open suffix. How much of an armor gain is that? 175, 193? Nah, not worth it. I need one of these jewels to just ID reservation, that'd be nice. That's an insane amount of flat lightning. But I have so many percent fire damage nodes, so I don't think it's worth it. I'm not doing Wildwood to get the 30 minute speed stuff. Sockets don't work on this build. You need way too much shit. That is a five link. didn't see the links. Well, I mean, I didn't really look at it. I just saw five sockets and assumed if he's linking a white five socket chest, it's probably five linked. My suffix on my flask removes curses. Both my flasks remove curses. I kinda hate my tree right now. I guess I'm only level 45, but like, my life's just not that high. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna path out to the right and go to melding now. So I've already got like all the life in Templar and Witch. Like my Pathfinder at this point, I had 2500 life killing Cathala, that was so nice. I don't think I'm gonna, like, I'm hopefully can break 2k on the witch, but. The 25% empty life shit that I, I did in the Pathfinder, like empty glove life, was really nice.
but life wise it's like I got like a 5% there, 5% here, and then we're just going to melding, and then I guess we're going to leave once we have melding. We're going to leave to softcore. I messed up a bunch of fire res. If I can get my sockets work, those are good. A lot of rarity too for better upgrades in the future. I'm so far over on fire res. Wow. I'm gonna be like 200% when I put these things on. Glacial hammer. Holy, we found one. Those are pretty good too. It's a big life shield. Big life shield with good res. But all this armor. I want to get these boots on, definitely. There we go, a lot more life. And my res is top tier. My res is so good, I can craft life on my... on a lot of things. I should get a different ring as well. Essence is in here. Okay, so we have Lifecraft on this ring, this ring, and this helmet. That is not a ring. I actually could go empty glove socket if I wanted to now. <laughs> Technically we could. But that farm is like an hour long and it fucking sucks. And I, I can't be empty socket once I go to maps, so like I'm not gonna bother. I have 2k life now, we're chilling, we got some upgrades, some uppies. We'll have to normally be in VA. Yeah, normally I'm entering VA with 2400 at base league, roughly. 22, 2400 is like the goal. But Gauntlet is like fucking. These mods are so scary in the campaign, man. You don't get a Jade Flask my quest, right? Because you get three Flask quests, then we take Granite, Quartz, Silver.
Hope we drop a Jade Flask. Or Silver. My weapon's still really bad too. Like one of these Scepter Swan's ID needs to get some nice stuff on it that'd be very appreciated. Remember, we do this for freedom. I could just woe essence a like goat horn. Or a fawn horn. Let her, I have to scour this one. Remember. I'm trying to look out for a three blue fawn horn or scepter or some shit. Still have a Rosecraft in my boots. This chest should be very usable. If it just like doesn't roll a life mod, I can get 15% life if I can use uh hit this thing. Like an elk. Hit no life mod. I don't think I can use a green on armor. There we go. Looks like hybrids, it's open suffix still for more res. A little armor gain, plus we can take the life mastery now. 2.5 get by Katava seems like we're on track for that. Fire res is barely not the best, so we're gonna go ahead and come down here and put a fire res craft on this thing. We are good on res. And I'm not gonna do anything else. Next level, 15% life. Res is very good. $800 bounty for a high level death? Holy. How high level?
Eight alt at once, god. Yeah, we need a lot of alts for this build. Hopefully I get a ton. Is he gonna freeze me? It didn't. I'm at 50. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick these up. Maybe craft those later if I need more socket stuff. Bro, that was a fucking stuns archnim channeling incinerate asshole on top of a bunch of explosion on death mechanics. Fuck off. Yeah, my character's like, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Yeah, I'm not sure what level I'm leaving. I'll probably be like 52. Like, experience is still pretty fast right now. My life is total is, you know, should be solid. I really wish I had a better weapon. If I had a better weapon, I would definitely go at 52. But like, okay, I willed it into existence. That one's decent enough. Ooh, a quartz flask. I'm actually gonna vendor here. We need at least two blue on this, I think. And then we can get like one on the gloves. Those that open suffix, I'd play with them.
where my augments at. I don't know if I have a good spell damage craft right now, or a good fire damage craft. Bro, I know I have the currency. I hate that it doesn't know it's in my fucking stash. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little sad about the tabs. A little sad about the tabs. Point of cast speed feels nice. Mage blood, holy fuck! Holy! Give me a tab in. Yeah, look at it. See? I use it. We do. Rise. North America Tech. Still doing the ledge by looking. <laughs> That's what you get for not knowing Mage Blood can't drop in campaign. It's fine, you didn't make it past the climb yet. Like a drop, it shouldn't be able to, unless like this beast or some weird like thing could allow it to bypass that restriction. But as a level seventy-five drop thing, come from the vendor in Wildwood, who knows? There's no way to know if it can or not. I'd kind of assume it's still gonna respect drop level. All those doesn't drop until T eleven maps.
How much life does old XL have? Is he a beefy boy like me? Nineteen fifty-five. God, he's so much braver than me. That's crazy. Do amethyst rings? Yeah, those are not my filter. They probably should be. Look at that, two amethyst rings. Total rest kept, beautiful. Can go lifecraft there. Just go with life. See, so yeah, we're good on res. We're gonna. Oh, uh, you know what's in my stash? I miss when it preloaded your first stash without having to open it. Good times. Young is 1.1k in chamber. Yeah, but he's like EB mom, mind over matter, right? Ghost shrouds, all that shit. Trickster, like hybrid. One shots are rare in low level zones. Yeah, but getting surrounded and fucking obliterated isn't. <laughs> so we're gonna be at what positive 24 cast res? That's something. Better, better than negative 30. Not too worried about that. Eventually I'm gonna get the armor to chaos thing, but not yet. I could go that instead of melding, but I'm already committed. I'm gonna go melding, because the earlier I go melding, the earlier I can turn on determination and go EB instead.
Yep, yeah, got a mage, but I'm wearing it right now. Belt of the Mage Blood, heavy belt, unique. Bonk. No TR? Nah, I don't like playing TR. I like playing CA and CA's not good enough. What is this? An event. Also 24, barely kept rose, chillin'. 1200, 1700 with no granite, no, no D-term. is all good stats. Go ahead and start leveling that. My neck. That's a pretty fucking good neck. I don't think we're gonna do the quest. My belt and neck are both solid. Alright, spooky zoned here, mud flats. Delirium mirror. How about no?
I've got a spare blue for Tempest Shield. We're gonna go grab Melting, EB, and turn on Tempest Shield, and then invest into Aura stuff and change the D term instead. I don't currently have a red socket. Oh, yeah, I do. I can get rid of Fire Pen, and then we have a red socket for D term. Oh, I missed my dash. Ah, ooh. Don't really care about level 90, go bone zone jug. Probably. Like, Witch can just fall over at any point in time to any monster until, like, you have gray spark skin in Act 3. You got the boots. I have some wisdom score problems. I'm lost.
With the road to the Frisian forest clear again, I trek through That's a decent hat, if I can get the colors to work. Sure I can. I think we can choose fire pen. Instead of really focus. I'm not running TR because I started mapping on TR yesterday and I just wasn't having fun. And the idea of playing a build that I don't enjoy for 100 plus hours to grind is not something that I want to do. So instead I'm going to play a build that I haven't played before but I think is better. We'll see. Ones over phones, exactly. I played TR, I could have gotten that on day two. Did I do it if it wasn't banned? No. Probably not. Maybe, probably not though. I would have gone Chain DD Necro if that wasn't banned. I mean, this build is basically Chain DD Necro, except it's worse in every way. But it's still, I think it's still good enough that it's pretty better than most other skills. But Elementalist probably dies. Necro gets like bone offering and stuff. It can like help keep it alive in these multi project environments. A decent pair of gloves. I mean, actually, I should. I have 156 decks. My God, what? I have so much decks. I can probably use these. Uh, actually, I'm not going to be cold cap barely. Do I have a res craft still somewhere? Yeah, we do. There. across. Capture more yellow bees so I can do more stuff later. My flasks. I have 400 ES now, so yeah, I can definitely go EB and have a great time. I mean, I can go EB and go ahead and add into my blessing at this point. I have so much ES. Don't have the colors for that though.
What's this blue wave? I can maybe get red green on my my scepter, like red green blue on the scepter. It's pretty reasonable. Also red, red, green, like either of them work. I can go, actually, you know, red, red, blue and red, green, blue work. I could have I'm missing anger or, uh, or haste at this point. Taking damage. Bro, I have 3,000 life in Act 6. And Bark Skin and Grease. I got 5k armor. <laughs> Thanks for the T1. Let's not get Young Round in this uh, zone by a golem. That was a lot of a lot of balls. So courageous. Three suffixes, so it's bad. I'm gonna take this time to vendor real fast, just because I want to get the alts that from uh, Brand King's rares. I only had one portal scroll left, right? No, I have three. We're chilling. I'm gonna vendor these things. Three, two, one, go.
We need to get one more gauntlet in DD. <laughs> it actually would. If VD wins this gauntlet, it will have one more gauntlet in DD. It'd be funny. Like technically, the first gauntlet was like it was VD and DD. It was a slinger build. So it's like 1.5 to each, I guess. It was not ED. What's the name of that character? Does everyone else playing Essence Train Tricksters in that gauntlet? Not DD was the next one, I think. That was the Heist Gauntlet, this first slammer. Nah, just Darky was uh that was 3.9 meta or Metamorph Cyrus race, some of Skelly character. He died to Uber Elder. May he rest in peace. Pop it. I mean, I'm sure if I had to fight that boss again with that exact character in game state today, I, I would literally kill it every single time and it'd be easy. I was just, I'd never really fought Uberlder very much before that. Yo, Rise is gaming, let's go. Rip, Alex. That's my ESP charge right now. 155, so it'll be 75 per second. That's definitely good enough. DB. Regal. Ooh, some six sockets. Why aren't they five lengths? It's a bug. Let's see, they're both the same base. I'll keep one bit of the other. Farewell. I think there's an Excel shrine over here. This is a long backtrack.
Thank you for the prime. The hell? How'd I get ultimate? Yeah. Cursor. I think I'm just gonna skip uh, Cruel Lab for a while. I'm just gonna probably not do it until like right before Act 8 boss, maybe. We're just not very good. And if I go offerings, like it's kind of, I mean, offerings are kind of good, but like I have to press them. That's weird. Fractures. Hmm. Hmm. What am I gonna do with those? Nothing. Like 57, I'm gonna try to kill like a little more shit. By that I mean I'm gonna get mana siphoned to death. That's the toxic combo. Snowbolt, mana siphoner, lightning node. Little XL dudes. I can't play my character. I need to stand still to make the mana siphoner not kill me, but I can't do that because I'm not out of the mirages. You just can't win.
Is that a TR player getting a core rain? I should go ahead and chrome my thing up here. Mana cost check, 487. Damn, we're so close. So close. Maybe this tenant that will do it. 481. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. Very much for the gift subs. Mr. Karate. Firefire damage just spells roll, but I don't want to lose my cast speed. I like my cast speed. Yeah, I already kind of have all the stuff that I'm going to get for Int. And as I level up, it's only going to cost more and more mana, so I need, I need like a slight gear improvement. Do you have enough ES to cast this shit?
Nope. 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 Fuck off, archers. Bloop. Archers. They have poisons. I don't know if that's a dangerous mod. Probably isn't. I think my life armor is poison, actually. Should have enough evasion that they can't kill me. Eek. Don't prove me wrong. Eek. Oh, that actually hit me from there. Please breathe fire on me. Oh, a demon's horn? That could be really good. Oh, it's pretty good. Even got a flat fire roll on it. Lose some cast speed, but that's a lot of flat. I'll take the cast speed loss for that. Uh, I'm gonna put the smaller craft on it. I don't want to use that many alts. Need four passive points, and then I get uh, determination instead of tempest shield, which should already be in my gear. Love that Garf skin doesn't require a gem socket. Makes gearing so much easier when you can just have skills that aren't on your, your gems. This build always requires so many so many things. I do want to try to get molten shell as well as soon as I have determ on. I need like a blue red here. Go ahead and grab it now. Mole shell. Armor is 812 without granite or bark skin. And a week. I can feel the cast speed loss from that last scepter I had on. but I can also see the massive damage increase when my abilities hit. Need to ascend. Yeah, you don't blow up enough corpses though. Like with, with cremation, you blow up three corpses, you get 6% cast speed. That's why I was, I mean, I should go flesh offering if you wanted to.
That would definitely feel great. They're still blowing up, what the hell? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ball tool. Rip. No reservation. You get the scope on how fast so I can turn on my determ. 99 life, but no open suffix.
I want to get a spare green somewhere so I can fit in Blood Rage soon. I'm very easy with my current setup. Ow. Fuck off. Rip side. Okay, choices, choices, choices. I kind of want to come grab the, like, armor to chaos thing now. I think that should help a decent bit at mitigating the chaos damage. He has a good essence. Don't drink the water. Bro, okay, how is he so tanky? Fuck off. That's wild. Essence of Anger OP, given that fire is. Yeah, what are y'all talking about? What are you what are you doing? You being weird. Don't do anything on it. I can what do Come back to my cremations, why would you do that? Come here. Oh my god, I'm just permanently chilled.
Get me out of this fucking zone. I feel like I'm getting frozen so much more than you usually do. Probably just the old monster damage pen putting in work. Yeah, I'm not suppressed coats. Not enough evasion. Only have like 7k, 5k armor evasion in Act 9. I'm so slow. Wish I had haste, but I was, wasn't quite able to get my dynamo thing working. That best eight through my re-rolling. Oh no. See how I'm feeling whenever the death happens. My damage is bad. Makes sense. I haven't clicked the damage node in a long time. That's a decent chest. Is that increased armory stuff and dual res open prefix? How much more yes is that? That's a lot more yes. I could maybe try to get my divine blessing. But the colors are kind of bad for it right now.
Stop freezing me. Stop it. Spooky. Let's do one of these. Spooky. I think you're staying with me. You might be dead there. Be really close. Alright, Armored Chaos is acquired. 3k life. I haven't found a divine life flask yet, which is like kind of weird, right? Actually, not in BA yet, so I have to start from like a rare. This is such a bad essence, man. Like, Trail of Fire is so toxic. Like it's the trail, but it goes in front of them. Alright, dangerous boss. My damage is kind of low, unfortunately. It's fine, it, won't, it surely won't one-shot me. Oh my god, it cast it even though I phased her. Love that. I should have stayed on screen with her. I, I would have molten shelled it if I knew she cast it, but... I had already spawned the other boss, so I assumed she was phased properly. Gonna wait for a uh, bark skin stacks. Spooky. Not even close? Nah, not even close. That's why you get 3k life. In case the Slaras cast that for some reason.
Until next time. Uh, got some choices here. Go for some dam. Could go for like shadow life nodes. Could go for these life nodes over here. A lot of choices. I don't know what the right one is. I gotta think. Yeah, I'll probably cool up soon. VA is too scary to farm. I'm gonna farm Fiddles instead. Ooh, Ice Spear Freeze. Probably just go ahead and go up here and get these life armor yes nodes. Actually, can I? I don't know if I'm allowed to. Let me double check. No, I can't. Fuck. Not if I want to have the right setup at maps. I think it's time to do this. Get my regen and turn blood rage on. I'll reset in 10 minutes. Yeah, I guess I could peek what the current cruel lab is. See if I'd rather do this one. Two enemies, essence, conduit. Essence, conduit. I already reset? Oh yeah, reset an hour ago. I have no idea if the current uh, lab thing on, on the site is up to date. Brule lab often isn't instantly updated because like no one's like farming brule or anything. Get out of the zone. And I don't think we're gonna do the the trail encounter here. Like 3k life, I'm pretty sure I can get one shot by a few different betrayal guys right now. I want to get the Divine Life Flask before that, though. I'm lost.
until next time. Be careful. You got a flask for me? Take care. Oh, was that a silver flask? Yes. Or two alks? From Divine Life Flask, then I'm gonna go do lab. Rip. Three, two, one now. What? Got my little CB flask. Tragedy that this shit isn't fucking set up. All my color schemes, the ordering, oh my god. The goddess is watching.
No mods? Never mods. Down with the establishment, right? No moderators. Except for the few that, you know, are here. Did Excel go offering or a uh, course pact in his uh, his lab? I'm pretty sure I'm going the offerings, but I haven't played this build this far yet. You went corpse. Hmm. Take care. Sure, I'm gonna go offering. And enjoy some flesh offering. This is good. See if we can fit this now. 520, barely. I'm gonna go left, click Molten Shell, I think, and space by this instead.
you don't limp up enough corpses for corpse pack to, in my opinion to be good until you're actually playing the corpse build which we're not yet like if i was like chain vd you're like already playing vd of seething right now and then like for sure i would uh have corpse pack but we just don't like pop them any corpses Gucci, my filter or my fucking stash isn't. <laughs> it's not hard stuff on stash. It was full reset stash from migrating. Help. I don't think I actually that's scary. I need to get the fuck out of Act 1, that's an insane lo low time.
Not a hundred percent evasion. But we have a lot of evasion. Dark skins is really strong in the early game. That was a scary goat. I was frostbitten by the uh, little Blasphemer touch guy and then he also had a cold exposure so I was like 40 cold resistance chip. Finish campaign. I think I'm gonna go to level 70 probably in this zone. Go to level 70 in this zone and then progress campaign, do some Merc Labs to get some gym XP for my Volatile out of Seething that I already have from Normal Lab because anime protagonist. And then, uh, Yeah, this one uses Ray Spectre. I should level one of those so I can get two. What else am I allowed to click on this tree? I can come get aura effect. That's a lot allowed, it seems. My augments.
<laughs> you hit him with a good luck. Go level of race specter. Yes. Be careful. And the game doesn't know that I have chance orbs. Ooh. Hello. Watch yourself. Instead of a pen of these, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it sucks. I, I turned them all on now, but I haven't actually like moved the tabs and stuff, or sorted my old tabs. Fractured amethyst ring? Ooh. Oh, that would have been fucking busted. You have four awards, please. Thank you.
Oh, he succeeded. He killed the bad men. It's Act 3, hey, the hardest part's over. Until like Act 9. Just getting like a full inventory of rares every single zone, and gathering alts. sing of me. Ooh. A tuition stream? That's what I think I'm gonna do. Like go get the first essence snow but not like full essence and then just go like up the right side to Kyrick and then Tusion, or like I think I'm trying to do harvest like expedition. I think. I haven't like played this build. To maps, I, I my my run ended in Act Four. That's all I've done so far. We're kind of just guessing how it's gonna go. Like normally, I would always go full essences, but I'm, I'm just gonna try like small essence only because essences are dangerous. And Alkaiser is a believer in Rog, and he's never wrong. So I believe in Rog too. Thank you for the gifts.
Now. Bad hexer in there. I walk away. Oh shit! I do this first. It's time. I don't have any ults I'm up to. I need to fix my stash, man. Alright, so we're gonna go harvest, bossing, delve, unique, oil, gem flask, kata, daily frag, essence. Give map that, except frag goes here. Got the exhibition as well. And turn this thing on. And pull a quad tab. That's like a decent item, that's a decent item. The rest just gets dumped. Uh, a lot of this is earth game leveling. I'm just gonna leave earth game leveling.
Beautiful. Some bases still. I don't think I've seen like any like murder myths or anything. I guess I wouldn't see murder myths yet. That's like end of Act 10, not start of it. Progress, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. My defense has to be good enough. I mean, it's good enough for maps, but like, <laughs> I just have to play well in the campaign. See if I can get some bases from this person. Looking for like evasion ES gloves and then like armor evasion on the others, I think. Things are like, they're always fucking blue on the vendors now. Vendors are so much worse than they used to be. All right, tree. What am I allowed to click? Lovely. We're expecting a fucking spiritual aid right now. Which we're not going to have until 72. This could be a decent belt. Ah, oh, it's pretty fixed, never mind. But it still could be if I unveil armor evasion on it. Like unveil armor evasion craft. It's like not terrible. I just hate that I don't like get more life nodes for a while. But I mean, 3200's gotta be enough. Just don't be bad. Shit's gonna be so many buttons though. I got like wave and self cast offering, divine blessing, self cast guard skill for a while, blood rage. So many things gotta press until I get like a nice scepter with the thing. I think I'm just gonna get like a Void Scepter, Fear Essence it, and then craft 8 second uh, trigger probably. And then just put like Bone Offering, 
Maybe Bone Offering and Wave in there. Rip that guy. The armor evasion unveil at least. That's it's got a chance of being oh, like horrible. Dead ain't dead without dead ain't dead. Amen. Research encounter. I feel like I should do it to get the hybrid crafts if possible. Three guys with a bargain for a guaranteed item, we get one item extra. Unlucky. One of the chaos crafts. That's like a decent hat. I probably should have put a different like non cold rose one on there. That is a decent hat. This is an upgrade. An upgrade, but I have to fix the sockets. Small craft again. One of the Granite Foothills levels. Yeah, pretty much. I should have made a new one. But yeah, basically like getting an extra like five, six levels gives you some base HP, some extra points, increases your chance of surviving, hopefully. That's the idea. The invisible salt blades.
Thank you for the Prime, and the T1, and the T1, and the XDD Garf. It's a decent shield that I want to try to use. Well, it's not a better base, man. I might uh, farm a little more, try to hit 72 before this boss. Just for spiritual aid. Best odds of success. I should already have my gear. No, it's not. Fuck, sockets are so tight. Uh, no, once I get rid of Armageddon Brand, it'll be a little easier, I guess, probably. The loo. Oh, the cobalt jewel. Mana reservation, maybe? 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 Nope. That was so much damage. I'm scared. Chef, be kind to me, please. Holy Gatling gun? Yeah, this boss is so terrifying. On, on actual melee, it is like so dangerous. Usually you just play like Sunder Forward or something on like the good builds like Bone Zone Jug. And Bone Zone Jug can actually just tank that because they have like the little armor to lighting thing, which is really good against a thousand small hits, which is what Shab is.
See how perfect my tree is right now. I'm about to fight like the hardest boss I'm gonna fight. And I'm one point off 120% increased damage. My planning is perfect. Literally perfection. Curses always crits. Zapper. That's actually a pretty decent fracture, I can essence that. Alrighty, do a dre. I need to restart my game for this. My FPS is getting real choppy. You're not binding these. The final stretch, or almost, presumably, maybe, possibly, hopefully safe.
I almost logged out for hitting that lever. Like, <laughs> I was really close to pressing the button. That's not it, though. It's this. I don't want to use pure armor. Oh, we got it. Let's go. What's the quality on this? Or movement speed? I don't care about that at all. Oh, I forgot to do fucking Valenta. Use your slam. He wanted to kill me. That's what she wanted. He was in the business of attempted murder. I think it's Merc Lab time. What's my armor at with bar? Oh, it's pretty fucking high. Wow. Alright, so what do we got? Two enemies, Gargoyle Idol. Is garfing without garfing? What does that even mean? How does it work?
Havoc Bone Zone. Validity of your quest has been rejected. No Garf, no quest. Can I grab the little dank shine over here? Just in case it'd be like a twice plus or something could be nice. Oh. Why would that guy do that to me? That was so rude. I have the sand of eternity. Is this a dark shrine back here? Behind these plates? I've never seen this before. I've never seen it hiding behind plates like that. That was so much damage. Yeah, this isn't even campaign anymore. There's no pen here. That's just 30% increased damage. Right to left. Ow. <laughs> that, oh man, oh man, oh man. One thing that was nice about TR is you're basically suppression caps entering maps. We're gonna have like none. We're only gonna have spell block, so. <laughs> Our life is up to RNG. That guy. How's my res? Not the best. Would I... Do I have any crafts anywhere? Hmm. I've got like some better boots here that are gonna help with like cat beyond cold. Yeah, I think we're good once I put the, some different gear on. I'm sure I can fix it if I have to. I'm just gonna go Kokotaba and then work on my swap. Hopefully it all works out. If it doesn't, oh well. Play finals.
driving all these bases to like essence and stuff. I probably have a little less currency than I normally would because I didn't do, you know, 10 labs. Labs are pretty good for getting, getting currency. Die. Give a chest for me. That's a nah. It's decent, but if it didn't have the life the life model and everything, we tried to maybe use that. Who knows? Uh, before I do this, I'm gonna go get all my uh, skill point refunds. Or go with Lava. So I don't know how many I need, so I'm just gonna do. I mean, I guess the only ones I haven't done is Edit and Church, so I'm gonna do both of those real fast. Alright, I have to kill everything here. Trail farming? No. I have like armor to chaos, so if I go in with lower chaos than normal, it gets fine. Why oh, is it Misery Gauntlet? That's what it's called. That's the name. I'm still not sure what I turn off if I don't get Reservation Jewel with my ults, like do I turn off Bark Skin or turn off Tempest Shield? I do not know. I have more ults than the average is required to get it, but you know, that doesn't really matter. Bark Skin for sure. Yeah, I think I get rid of Bark Skin, because like as long as my flasks are up, even with Bark Skin at zero stacks, I have 10, I have 11k armor. Or 10k armor, I think, with zero stacks. I think I have to get rid of Bark Skin for Tempest Shield. It's a multi-project gauntlet. It's only 30% increased damage. Like, my armor amount should be safe in white maps, even without Garf Skin. Anyone ripped yet? Oh, a lot of people have, have uh... Have died. 
I've got two zones left, so I'm done with campaign. And then hopefully it should be smooth sailing from that point onward. Hopefully. My gear's not actually ready for me to kill Katava yet, but I'm kind of assuming I have enough materials to craft gear to make it ready. And if not, I have a couple res nodes I can spec if I need to. It's time. I think I have like 120 alts, like 70 average, so it'll be fine. I don't know if I have enough augments to augment every suffix though. We'll see. Yo! <laughs> My bone zone jug reroll, we got the Tani Wahis. How we do? Five hours. I didn't have to farm work up though, so. Cheated a little bit. You get farther easily? No. We're not trying to use this on the scourger. Okay. So. We have this item that's pretty good for res. I think we're going to try to use that. My strength exploded. Fix his pathing. Path 
Then we have any gloves? I don't think we do. I'm trying to use these boots. I'm pretty sure we can... We have an essence for these. Oh, no, it's not going to be screaming yet. Rip my regal. That was not good. I might have needed that for one of these rings. So if we need a lot of cold, this helmet is good. I have scours. I have a couple. Alright, I like my boots. My gloves are kind of stinky. But the boots are going to be my discrete link, so I need some reds and stuff over here. My helmet is terrible. Wow, just hit fucking garbage. That's actually remarkable how bad that one is. Okay, bitching strat. Sydney gloves. I don't see any gloves. So the blues are going into the boots. We need. It can be pure armor gloves, actually. That works. Lightning res. Okay, we're barely capped. And I don't have any current. No, I have one craft slot, barely capped. This is functional. Uh, my weapon's not fake. I have a different opal over here. We're going to fear essence it and hit cast speed. Okay, it didn't hit triple suffix at least. I may have like no transmutes, I've been vendoring them. Either way, the res is good. It's not fake due to magi, right? Nope, no magi. Okay, so links. Oops. Need the desecrate. Need the wave, need the mole shell, need the dash. Need the fire pen. Get the DB, the haste. We're gonna go bone offering now because we're a coward. Don't need any of these links. We might not be able to use faster attacks on our links. We'll see. All right, so it's VD, fire pen. I have enough Alex to buy all this stuff. I think I do. Tense. Zachary. This guy with the MTX on, he's looking good. Alright, so we need green, red, blue, blue. That. I'd like that's to be undamaged taken if possible. We need desecrate. My brain just stopped working. I want level one cascade. But I want level the uh, bone offering, so we're going right back to that town. Need faster casting. All right, so this is red, red. Ah, I'm gonna wait to chrome it until I'm positive.
So this needs to be like blue, red, green. Uh, how do I have 29 chromes? The fuck? I feel like I looted so many. That's wild. I thought I had like 40. So the weapon is definitely going to require uh, a lot of blues. I don't have my gems set up for actually showing what I need here. It's so like my chest is going to ideally be these colors right here. Which I can do with jewelers. Now we want Divine Blessing Haste. We want D-Term Grace. We want Tempest Shield. Although, I guess it's time to find out if we can even use Tempest Shield. Cobalt's are the best ones to alt. Unfortunately, I never found a blue one, so we have to scour one. Nice, got it. Pob says 2% works. You think Pob's lying? Let's find out. Why would it lie? Sometimes Pob gets aura stuff wrong when it's like exact. Yeah, it is wrong. Unless I didn't spec one yet. Oh no, I don't have the Thing yet we're good. Whew, scary. Scary. Spooky. I might need these points, I'm pretty sure. Alright, Grace Determination, Tempest Shield. Yep, zero, perfect. What did I get on that thing on that second mod? Nothing. Alrighty, so we need Tempest Shield, Grace, Determination. And I was gonna be doing Blood Rage in my hat. This is the plan. Divine Blessing and this. I need Cast damage Taken as well, ideally. Where's my shell at? Yeah, fuck off. Uh, I can go ahead and use these on my... On these. Rest in peace, me. Alright, so I want Cast on damage Taken and this in a 2 link here, or a 4 link, it's fine. I want this in my hat. What am I missing? Already ever offering. You ever desecrate? I'm missing my second curse in Hexbloom, and that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna be using those for a while, so. Uh, this needs to be one green. This needs to be a blue. It have to be. Yeah, we have to have one blue here at least. I think this is usable for now. Oh, I know it's. Uh, 
We need to chrome this and just get double blue. So no, it's not quite usable. Level 23 Alks. And we're good on ES still. Two Chromes. We got Jewelers as well to fix Socket still. Our res is like barely capped. I had a res craft available somewhere. I forgot where it was though. Did not yet, Boots. Perfectly barely capped. Alrighty. Gear seems fine, let's fix the tree now. I think I've already fixed it mostly. How many points do we have? So we have 95, and I had to get practical application. So we're getting rid of this. I have to get rid of one other point somewhere. I think we're just not turning on. Actually, we have a lot of strength. I can get rid of this. All right, so we got corpse stuff and region and blood rage. Be silent. Desecrate, VDF seething. Rest in peace, that guy. I don't have VMS yet, so we'll just put Molten Shoulder for now. Those are already in the right spot. So I need to bind some stuff. But I'm eventually well on self gas, but for now. Oops, I did that wrong. Alright, so we got dash, this, and this. And offering that we have to cast to. Aspy doesn't even feel that bad. Positive Chaos Res with the Armor to Chaos Mastery. I have 15k armor with Bark Skin. I love Garf Skin. Alrighty, let's play the game. The VD MTX? Yeah, let's get some MTX on you, right? Let's see, what's the, let, let, let's go old school. The old look. Move Tempest Shield, but it's shiny. Alright, let's get it. Only 3k life, unfortunately. Hope we don't fucking explode. Ready to craft life? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I did not remember. Okay, 23 Alks. I'm blind, where the- Wait, I don't get the backpack when playing this Ascendancy. Wait. Can I change? Is it- I don't need Garf skin. Bugs 
Off we go. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot something. You know what it is? What's this key bounty right now? I saw you. Where are you? Right, Lincoln condemned. Right, Lincoln condemned Sam Warren. Okay, we're good. I need to level some stuff back here. What? Start level my purities. All right, uh, let's see. So we need to level everything here, I think. Uh, not cascade, actually. This is the wrong filter. How much worse for DDE? I think DDE is about twice as good as this. Video chaining, that is. Rip. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna like try not to burn my eyes for Porcupine. We're not from Porcupine. We're bossing on Necro. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, I promise. It's like every rare fire night resistant. Graph left ring, yeah, good. Is it good though? Yeah, it's really good not to do that. You right. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Essence, Betrayal, come up here to Kyrick, and then Expedition, and then like, I don't fucking know. We're just guessing.
I could have just moved without me want oh I think it's that. Little frost guy. So I don't have to press wave of conviction and bone offering. I got a minion life cluster. We're good. I can play minions now. Okay, so what are we doing? I think I want to go straight into instinct lucky. Suppress, just like instantly there. Only one more level on my shit. I'm not gonna break my, my molten shell. I press VB for Flame Nutshell. My, my thumb's just always resting on V. Not always, like right now it's kind of just floating in the sky, but.
You did it! You know what I wish this build had? Just like a little bit of life on kill. I guess I get that once I go into shadow. It's always so nice once you have like a little bit of life on kill because then you... Like I'm, I'm life potting like pretty much every single damage event right now. Like every single time I take damage after life pot, life pot because I have like only enough recovery to out sustain... Life proj area. Huh. There's like just out sustain blood rage like nothing extra. But yeah, we're gonna go straight into instinct first. Do not level molten shell again. Porcupine, yo! I can play TR. Let's go. Come on, boss, come spawn on these corpses. I know you want to. I didn't one shot him? Wow. Ignite did one shot him with one corpse. I'm lucky. Khan got Writhing Jar. G. G. Man, is my filter bad or something? Like, how do I just not have any wisdom just like ever? Life auras, okay. I'm gonna wait on doing Olmex until we uh have some better casters, I think. Unleash wouldn't really help us at all. We spawned like twelve corpses, we blow up ten. If you unleash your skill, there wouldn't be corpses to blow up. There's not enough corpses to unleash our skill. That's the that's the bit. This is so much more fun than TR, man. I don't know why I hate TR so much. Like I love CA and I fucking hate TR.
into all my flats after this. I wonder if my wave is doing fire exposure. It should be. Punch offering instead. I mean, unless you're literally in Gauntlet, run Punch Offering. <laughs> like, hardcore, softcore, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, it's only this league that you don't run Punch Offering. Zalage. I, I gotta peep this filter. There's no way I'm showing the things I need to be showing. Stats is greater than two wisdoms. Are you serious? How do I not help? Did I pick the right filter? Yeah, that's the right one. Oh, I'll pass the first that map. There's no counterplay. It's not my fault. Why is that guy gonna reflect my hex? Why? It's winning. Yeah, my recovery is really bad right now. Oh, I thought I did this corner. I'm leaving the map because we're running out of flash charges and dying.
problem is I, I just have no form of recovery except for my life pot. Which means I press it too much, which means I, uh... And then it charges. down there big guy yeah, this MTX is, is like required for, uh, for playing this build if you don't have this, like, base Volatile Dead is disgusting. have oh my god I'm so poor I'm so poor Transmutes. I don't like intensify.
my other blue options. There's not really any good ones, because I really don't like LA Focus. You miss out on like 100% increased damage and minus 5% uh, fire res. Now you don't want Conk. You want like some generic damage increase. I might just go, uh, like free chrome eventually and go hypothermia instead of, uh, that. But you kind of have to go intensify on, a, on your last link though. I don't know. It's just like whenever I actually have intensify stacks, it feels like it's hard to get good connections with, uh, the monsters if they're moving. Like, I don't even know if I'm blowing up enough corpses because my base of VD is so small. Damage on full life, it's only for attack skills. Is this inhabited by Goatman or some shit? Like, did I put a Goatman map in? I think I did. Cannot wait to have Lucky Suppress. Kept. No, I'm not. Bro, can you not just freeze me for 20 years? That's my fault. I put in a goat map. Never put in a goat map before you're freezing me in. Ice spear. No counterplay. Cult is red. I have to chrome my shit. I'm poor.
Is it TR? No, it's not. Feels so much worse than Arcanist Brand though. I wonder if it's something with like the the way I'm pressing my buttons, it's not ideal or something. Wow, that's hybrid, that's a sick shield. Fourteen all res. I'm gonna need to hit a dex node to put it on, but that's a lot of suppression. Lightning Race is a little brick right now. Do I have a Fire Race craft anywhere? Or we just need to get a ring that isn't this thing. I don't have a Regal. Or stop hitting fire. Just do like a life or lightning. Is there you on the belt? Yeah, I know. That's a really bad use of a recall. Fire, cold, fire, cold. A tiny bit of lightning. Unfortunately, no open prefix. Lose some life for now. I need to do flasks too. Let's see, so what do we have? We have a silver and a quartz. Unfortunately, they both have to be scoured. Yeah, that's fine. When it's moving like this, it feels like my desk rate VD is like hitting behind it.
Yeah, this is a really good shield. I'm gonna do this for a pretty long time. I think uh, two levels from now is when I get suppressed lucky. Express lucky will put me at like 75 or so suppress, maybe 80. Pretty solid amount. Once I get Uber Lab, 30 all res, like that'll make gearing a lot easier. It's so awkward how hey, you get 30 all res in Uber Lab, so it's like you have to make your character functional, and then you just get all res later. When you probably don't need it. You know, it's very weird. No open suffix. Cycling damage reduction. Bye. Oof, no, it's not like that. Stack of div cards, but it's bricked. When a fermentation to fade, If I get it magic finding, maybe I'll pivot to Pathfinder, but the plan is to not need it. Like I'm probably just gonna, you know, get suppression cap, then maybe we come down and do some, uh, like some T10 magic finder, so. 
I'm already committed. We killed Dry Sea Boss. There's no porcupine angle. G11 Bellin, he's in for safety. Uh. It's, for, it's generally no. But if I get the setup that I want to get set up, maybe yes. Not like I, I like if I get the right setup, I'm not gonna die in either. But G11, you can do permanent influence if you want to. Not gonna die in either. Okay. Picture this, right? Grace, D term, like 40k armor. 20k evasion, Elevore for life on suppress, 55 block, 70 spell block. And the way spell block works is if, if you get hit by a spell and you block it, you also suppress it. So you still get the life on, on, on a suppress. Like the only way you're dying, if I get that set up, is pretty much like getting DD'd. Like that's like it. You're chilling. Or like some. Big Fizz one hit. And we have the armor to Chaos. So the 20% Fizz is Chaos, like once I'm actually Chaos Risk capped, is going to add less than 1% monster damage. So like that part of red maps isn't bad. Yeah, player DD's banned, not monster DD. <laughs> they cheat. Oh, it's so nice having shield charge, man. It's one of the worst things about TR. Like, on high budget, you have 300 move speed, you don't care. On League Start, you're just walking around no move skill with, like, fucking 90 movement speed. Like, oh my god, it's the worst. I don't know what you mean by auto shield charge. I'm pressing the button. That's like DD? Nope, this is VD. It's like DD, but worse in every way. It'd be like if you had a T-Shot character and they banned T-Shot and you're like, actually, I'm going to play Lightning Arrow. Ha <laughs> ha, you know? Just worse than T-Shot in every single way. But, like, it's still good. But imagine playing a bow skill that's not T-Shot. You have to be fucking deranged.
playing Poison TS. I wonder if anyone's gonna go for that bounty soon. The, the do Eric Holly with only Poison TS. Looked with the lighting arrow. Lighting arrow does have extremely satisfying like audio and, vis and visual uh, like feedback. Take me to 100. Well, I'm probably gonna play this guy to like level 99. It'll take me a pretty long way, yeah. Eventually, I'll get better, but th that's gonna last for like, like I'm not recapping a shield until like every other piece of gear has been replaced at least once, probably. Those bloody blue bastards. Hey, right, Kira, calm down. Calm down, bud. Alright, well, I have no scars and no chances. Hey, Kira, or Tushin. Oh, yo. Yeah, we're lesser. Fuck. Are you a yes, from me. We're not rich enough to buy those, unfortunately. Life gained. I mean, it's just multi proj, right? It's like it. I don't want to do that though, though, with ghosted multi proj. To the prime. Uh, no anxiety at all about doing T5s. I put them in with joy. You can see all the door. The Prime, and the Prime, and the Gifty one. And for taking time out of your day to watch this riveting experience. Approach, Challenger. Someone's dog is absolutely just really upset right now. I hear that guy.
That was like five bosses. It's a danger. That kind of content is when you can really feel the power of block. Having like 60, 60 spell block. It's very nice. And now it's time. We're getting the node. Lucky Suppress. Actually like the best mastery they added when they added that uh... When they did like the mastery re rework. Hmm. I think I need that strength for now. Yeah, there's a lot of macros that are kind of convenient though. Like, do you really, really want like slash hideout, like remove? Like, you know, is that, would that be good? It would nerf everyone that isn't exactly Alkaiser. Like, <laughs> like keybinds to invite people, like when trading, like, you know, there's. There's a lot of things that are kind of high quality of life that... I'm glad we have access to. Michael doesn't use any either, really? He's not a slash hideout enjoyer. No wonder the guy invites me to party so slow. That was tanky. Partially because like uh, it's so weird doing like, the rotation on this uh, build. Cause, like you alternate like one two one two one two, but the speed that you do it changes as you get more attack and cast speed from corpse backed. What the hell? That's a good Ventors.
I just leaked stuff here global. Global. Rip my porcupine farm. Yeah, it's gone. Unless I. Oh, vessel. Huge. Is this. Reveil the return. Isn't that like a T10 now? Yeah, it's underground sea. I'll buy it from uh, the Kirk eventually. I'm, I, I will 100% instant there on that map as soon as I get one. <laughs> but the only way I'm getting one is if Kirk sells me one, so. I'm pretty sure I can do yellows, it'll be fine. Like just walking in doing one should be no problem. BD of seen three different ways. Have you played the DD of Chain Reaction one yet? That one's real good. A DD of Chain Reaction hit based is genuinely like. It, it, it's like one of my favorite skills. Obviously, Ignite is like probably just better, but Corpse Packed means you just run around with like a billion percent attack and cast speed. You have infinite area. Like, that shit was so much fun. But Prolif, so here's the thing. You can play Prolif on hit-based DD of Chain Reaction if you want to. Like, it won't kill rares or blues, but it'll kill like straggling uh, white monsters, and it helps a little bit with your with your clear. You just feel like Glove Prolif, but like when I was playing Chain Reaction DD, I played it with 180% increased area, so like I didn't feel like I needed Prolif. Like, the thing that Prolif is so good, or like why it's so good, it's because it leaves like lingering damage behind, so it kills stragglers. But hit base chain action DD also just lingers, so it like kind of does the same thing that Perlif does. That build's so sick. Wish I was allowed to play it in this gauntlet. Collect hey. Ellie. Oh shit, I don't have the Atlas thing open. Let's see. Moon Temple is T4. Tropical, I believe, is T5. Let's reflect Ellie. Seven C. That's a lot of fucking. I don't think that's worth it. I think that's a really common uh, map. We'll just get it later. Are right, so having a good time? See in maps yet? Level seventy one. In this hideout. I mean, like, white maps are so easy, I'm sure, no matter what his gear is like, as long as he's the res cap, like, he'll be fine to grind them. Fix all of his shit. Setting up gear. Yeah, so one of the things about Slayer Bone Zone is, like, you don't really get that much access to, like, all resists and stuff, so it's like. You get unlucky, it can occasionally kind of challenging to be prepared for maps properly, but he's done a hundred times I have faith in him. Elevor, yo, he got one. What's the roll? 140, pretty weak, but the item is so nuts. Like Elevor, hear me out, this might be cooked. Elevore is almost defiant of destiny tier. Thoughts?
cooked as fuck? Yeah, no, it's not quite. But on this character, I think they would do the same thing for mapping. Like, both would turn me into basically being in world in, in maps. Although, Defiance works on attack, so, you know, that's good. Stop shooting me! <sighs> That's an interesting neck. I don't think I can use this until I do Uber Lab, but Cassidy percent armor, lifecraft, pretty solid. Alright, so we got like he's fresh in, we're gonna go written in blood now and get 4k life. I don't really mind pressing Bone Offering that much. I definitely want Exposure on hit Gloves so I don't have to press Wave. Like, Bone Offering is not that bad to press. But of course, you know, it being automated is going to be good once I'm a little bit deeper into the day and I'm not necessarily playing as well. Guys, think about how fucking miserable I would be right now if I was playing TR. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's crazy. Almost actually did that. What a mistake that would have been. Base instead of ignite, or right, for chain reaction, it's just a different build. It has higher potential, especially if you go poison eventually. Like poison chain reaction DD hits dot cap versus Ubers like very easily. Ignite based normal DD probably is never hitting dot cap versus Ubers. Ch chain reaction is genuinely like just so disgusting, so strong. Love it. The radius is just so big too, like most spells don't have that kind of coverage. I'll probably load that up next league if they don't, uh, I mean I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to get nerfed a little bit, but it, even if it gets like, it's a number of like hits cut from like 6 to 4, I'll probably still load it up, or from 8 to 4, I'll load it up next league start. Only thing is like it is kind of a lot of buttons, and if I'm starting in trade league, like, Usually minimal button, so it's like ideal. Pretty sure I'm playing trade the next league. Yeah, I know, dude, because the type playing this build just makes me think about how much... Like, I I'm having a pretty decent time right now, because this build's actually kind of fun. But, like, I'm just thinking about how much more fun I'd be having if I was pressing the actual right skill, instead of the skill as, like, half-brother, you know?
Although this skill has a cooler sound effect. VD, like this VDMTX, it sounds nice. Bone Shatter sounds nice. I, I just, I, I don't like the Axe Mastery sound personally. Like you have to play it, like the Destroying Corpse thing. But like, I don't know, I don't like it that much. I used to hate it and now I only kind of don't like it. So I guess that's an improvement. That's a good Quartz. But I need to roll a Granite or a Silver. I don't think I have four bubbles yet. When yellow maps? No clue. No clue. I'm gonna full finish yellow map or white maps, and then just kind of farm Kyrick and you know this for a while. I'm not really gonna push it. Fire and resistant quad essence. Let's see. Flasks. Like, uh, my goal is just not to die, so I'm probably not going to go into yellows until I'm pretty happy with my gear. Like, probably more chaos res, like 50% instead of, you know, 6%. Some more gym levels. Like once I get like, fill out all of Shadow, you know. My I'm very happy with my suppression right now. I have like twenty five percent on gear already. My rings are both like kind of disgusting, but at the same time, like ring crafting is kind of bad. Without harvest, like ring crafting is kind of not good. I have some regals, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like alt a ring or something. I don't know. For what, Charles? Arc of surging. I think it was on on a, the list of like known things. I think, but like the wording is the exact same as exsanguinate, and exsanguinate obviously doesn't make it that way. So, who knows? I, I think it was like I'm pretty sure it was acknowledged as a bug, though. I don't have a source for it, but I remember someone saying they had a source for it, which is basically a source. If you think about it. They're never gonna nerf DD, bud. I hate to pick it to you. DD's here to stay. Fuck. What do I do? Alright. Now let's check. Looks like it's I either go Expedition or Expedition. Let's go Expedition. Ooh, uh, yo. That's a decent little ring, if only it was on a good base. The thing is, like, I'm already res-capped, 
I don't like I'm not gonna drop chaosers to put this on. There's just no point. As soon as I get Uber Lab, I'm gonna have like 50 over res cap. Like there's no reason to to lose chaos at this point, so good ring, but basically until putting the item on lets me gain suppression or chaos res on a different piece, we're not using it. Which probably will happen pretty soon because I can craft uh, some chaos res onto that, and it'll instantly be better than like a uh, like the right ring. Let's see, that's disgusting. My gloves are kind of bad. But until I go into Shadow and get the Strength from Blood Siphon or whatever it's called, and Written in Blood, I don't want to drop it because then I have to spec into the Strength mode. But you come with me. Misery essences are too good. Can't be skipping those. Like pass speed. I need to get some Blight. Getting an Entrench Annoying would be so nice for my recovery, because like right now I'm just like pure life ass recovery and that would help with that. Close your eyes. Actually, no, I haven't gotten a cure or a tusion yet. Maybe we can do some of this though. Uh, I don't think we're close. That's like 90. That's oh, greater. Bro, just give me your shit. No. All right, you can open your eyes now. Long day. Job never ends. No, you don't, you don't press them at the same time. They're not instant. If Dolls can them. I want to grab the Offering Mastery next level. Oh, I just leveled that us. Like seven dual blockers some shit, I think. And some percent regen. Rip. 
I'm gonna use like a random bad essence on every single white amethyst thing that I find. Pink! <laughs> Was that from a fucking barrel? Where did that come from? A shield charge over a barrel or something. Yeah, this shield even has spell block on. It's just actually so insane. I didn't even realize that until just now. I mean, I, I realized it when I looked at the item. But like, goddamn, what's my block at? I was only 61. I thought I'd be higher than that. I guess Burn Offering's not leveled yet, all the way. All right, let's see. Uh, Zeal Essence on that, bad. Gwenin. Rip phase. Isn't he a juggernaut? I guess it could be a shab death, an act for death. Approach. Oh, is it, was there ultimate back there? I I missed it. I'll go back for it after the boss. Alright, no Kirk missions. Are these not terrible? They're all kind of terrible. Alright, I think we just like... I want to try one, see how fast these things move. See what 60 wrist and haste looks like. Oh, 
Oh, trial, badass. I'm going to skip out on doing lab though for a bit. I'm sedition or touch. Stop that. No, Uberzaro is a yellow map, so he has 60% haste. I want to get a little more uh, defense first. I'm just not confident that I can just face tank him. And until I can face tank him, I don't want to fight a 60% haste Zaro because he's so fucking fast. Like, you're going to get hit by his abilities, probably, with that much speed, right? Are they sure the the sixty percent haste is turned on? They don't feel that fast. I don't know. Hey, look at this guy. I walk faster than him, and I'm a fucking witch. I got, I'm chilled ground too. Hi! Hello! Hi! Hi! I don't have enough damage for this yet. Must gain more power.
All right, Haystora. That makes him a. I mean, he's still so slow. I don't know. I don't think it's on. Wait, she's healing them when they're not. Oh my god, that's so toxic. And this Dejan thing too. We need to turn Bloodage off. And Maven healing, man. Eventually her thing's gonna be on cooldown. Her heal will just stay on cooldown. Long boss, yeah. I can't even change off Relic or Relic Cash because it's a vulnerable now, so I'll get bled and die. Oh, I almost got him. It's like 1 HP. She healed him! Oh, come on over here, bud. Come on. Why'd I put Maven on this man? <laughs> Where's the other boss that isn't up here? Bro, oh, change to the right dude. Like, right when I get to hit him, he just changes back. I think she's out of healing at least. These bosses are really good at like staying together as well. Like their AI is so so friendly to each other. I have tech for this. Alright, you get the thing now. And it just runs away. Come fight me. Why don't I have on this thing, man?
It's, it's always like the one that's furthest away from me that I'm not actively attacking that gets the buff. No, he lived! We saw back to this guy. Victory is mine. <sighs> Easily defeated. Excels in this one. Twenty six percent chill. Ah, I don't butter, John. Uh, now it's Degens. Fire link it. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty abnormal to have a fire link at this point.
out of backpack. Oh, they all have physical as extra. Just stop rolling damage mods, thank you. Isn't this normal row speed? I don't know, man. I, I'm confused. Like, they're not even moving. Is obliteration? No, definitely not. We're not ignite. There's no global prolif or anything that you'd get from that. That's an elementalist tech. Boss said that before the rare. <laughs> what? Oh, that makes no sense, dude. It only had one Arch Dim Tank mod. I guess two, and Rage kind of has a DR as well. I could tank all those, by the way. Hello. I will take that, thank you.
iceberg with a bunch of tank mods. If it's the one that spawn that is doing the traps, I'm gonna not fight the boss because it can one shot me. I think. Yeah, tank mod T9s are a little too big for, for me. I don't do enough damage. Yeah, defensively, we're fine, but like we don't do enough damage, so like everything gets to attack me a bunch. Einhardt's gonna help us out though, that's cool. Fuck him up, Einhardt. Einhardt's weak. I'll leave that devourer over there. I should carry like an Arcanist brand in my bags and just swap it out for a uh... play faster casting. Whenever I get to bosses. Although that doesn't really work with bone offering in those links actually. I'm not killing that guy. Fire night resistant big boy. No, no, no. Better than learning the right, but like not by enough to care. But I'm gonna pay this guy over here. Let's see if we can abandon him. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. He doesn't like my idea. Let's go further, bud. Come on. Come on. This way. Just can't do it as long as bone offerings in those links, unfortunately. Come on. Come on. Come on. And stay there, bud. Every blue, blue back a tank back to you. Wow. 
I gotta stop putting fucking Maven on these, man. Things we do for bonus. 32 fire dot multi. Damn, if only I was playing the good build. Oh, looks good to me. Oh, that's what, maybe not. Why not? Me alone. He's too fast. Put a portal down when I had no life pots. I don't have enough chaos res to uh to pot through the discrete plus maven legion. It's fine now, we just cleared this side of the map. which I'm pretty sure is fine. My V dealing this fire damage, my wave might kill me, so maybe we take out wave. Uh, nothing else does enough is to matter.
Level 6 link. Pretty sure we can't use it though. At least not yet. Those are colors that I can use. Just add in Hypo and uh, LA Focus. I hate adding in LA Focus, but... It has life on it. Some strength, no suppression. Good enough to send him the guild jet, though. Is not an option. I think I'm gonna use combustion instead of uh, instead of focus here. I think it's better. Like combustion, and you get to keep Snowforge minus five fire res, and uh, and like 100% increased um whatever. From uh, the mastery, 100% increased fire damage from the mastery. My ES cost is gonna go through the fucking roof. Current one has a lot. Yeah, I definitely. I can't use it until I do the lab. I think. Yes, is definitely gonna be a problem. For now, we're working on getting more. That was a fucking hit and a half. Still don't have freeze immune. Maybe an underground Z. Oh, this combo of spider, snare, and chill is really toxic. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the 60 haste now, you know, a little bit.
I got no currency. Ah, fuck that with multi proj. That's not a thing. Any of these don't have mods that are gonna kill me? I know this sounds mad. Is an Ashen at T5? I feel it's kinda wasteful. Messing up your TTs, I can try to grab that from these. Thank you, Woody Joe. I will try. Approach, We're gonna chill for a bit now that we have uh, both Maven things done. I just want to spec into essences, man. <laughs> I just want to spec into fucking essences. I think I'm going to before harvest. Like, I'm, I think I'm just gonna finish expedition and go back into essences and then just blast some low tier maps. I'm definitely not strong enough to like just be grinding like yellows yet, not safely. It's mainly just an offensive problem. Like the Uberlab plus putting that 6-6 sync on is going to be like a lot of damage. VD also has the problem of... It's like so with DD, all eight hits are independent and they all have their own crit roll, so you always have EO. VD doesn't have that benefit. So, as you can see, like my EO of time is like kind of shit on this build. Like, you kind of need some, some uh, crit chance on your weapon. So, I need like a much better weapon. Which you make with, guess what? Essences. <laughs> Like you want like cast speed crit, craft fire damage, or like mini damage, cast speed, craft crit, something like that. Alright, so I've got all the extra stuff that I need, except for uh, this up here, so we're gonna head on up to the books, I guess. Up to the books, over to Essences, and all that. Let's make these rare, see if they're runnable.
I just have like no scour still. So poor. Gotta go special aid pretty early. You have so much percent increased damage. From like necro ascendancy, Templar pathing. Oh, fuck off, clear him. I hate this suppressing dude. Suppressing fire plus chill is like actually just I'm being bullied. I can't play my character. Plus hinder? Plus hinder? I have it all. I have every debuff on the game that makes me go slower. I just want to cast. I kill the student, he's, he's back with curses again. Stop it. I heard these incinerating things. Like, leave me alone. Yeah, the density doesn't do anything for you up time. Like crits rolled per cast, not per target hit. Or per ball, it's just per cast. Then we have to fix with gear. The advantage is VD of seething. Blows up 10 corpses instead of one per little prod, and you can cast it multiple times and spam it with cast speed. Alright, so off to this stuff up top. But I hate that I can't run reflect too. Beat more casters, then I can start doing some wildwood. It's a big boy. No reason to open that for a whaling.
that's a nice little room. A lot of fire cold, still, it's no open select still. So no chaos. Should be, don't I have like a, yeah, like a lighting as one of these things? Need some life. I can craft ES on this when I put the 16 gun for more ES. I go we go down to 610 ES when I take that off, like that's gonna be doomed with this on. I'm just so fucking poor. How do I have one scour? Tujin, but help me. Help me. It's time to shoot. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus. Eh, I probably shouldn't do this yet until we have better Chaos Res. But I want currency. Does the VD from the big guy not kill them all? I have a majestic play for the bone zone reroll. So many proximity shields. Only that was a build that could attack through them like TR. These empower boys have a lot of HP. Probably can't be doing Wisp Expedition, not strong enough. Yet. I forgot how you even are supposed to like deal with these shields. Like what the actual counterplay is. It's like you just walk up to them or something and they throw it at you. I haven't done exhibition on a hit base build in so long because it's usually not ideal. Yeah, be behind them is not a that's not a thing you can do. You don't can you don't control where they face, they face you, no matter where you are. You'd see it and they die, amen. Man, oh that'd be so fun, just playing some fucking trade league CA, oh the tanks. I'm 
keep this. So I might have that, that later instead of trying to do whatever I'm doing. I don't really want to use my betrayal missions until I have a little more investment into betrayal. And again, the experience and betrayal works right now, whereas later on it won't. Maybe we do it. Send some. Maybe get some better Chaos Rose stuff too. I still need to unlock the hybrid Chaos Rose crafts. Chaos Orb. Yeah, white maps are easier than campaign. to Dominus? That sounds annoying. Voln too. If it wasn't Voln, I'd do it. But like, haste to Dominus is like, that slam's gonna be so fast. Weapon yet. Now I got the offering, but I'm waiting to be a bit stronger before I go fight him. This build's really good in lab, so it'll probably be fine, but I'm just waiting like a little bit. I haven't peeped at what the, uh, the lab is, if it's easy or not today.
Big life node. What's Uber Lab? Commander of Darkness. Some attack cast speed, some damage increase, some res. Girl's fonts. Yeah, that's very not ideal. Two hidden mace is ideal, but. Why are there so many fucking shield guys, like, in everything? Stop that. I just want to attack you with my abilities and have you take damage. Fusion. No coins though. Or grants. New plus one. It's hard to see what is like highlighted in these outdoor maps. There could be anything in that treasure. My ancestors will forgive my I straight to Blood has then it is subterfuge. Challenger. 
I hope things are like with lightning mirages. Can't be doing that in two hours submission cap. No, this can be set for like 3,000. Can't be fucking with that. So it's easier to get my craft from him. Is that my third hybrid cast res? It might be. A little GMP map? What's the worst that could happen? Did I miss a dead end? What? I don't really want to do uh GMP. What the hell? I thought I killed those guys at the front. The jewel, not the guy. Life dot multi. I'm gonna keep that for the eventual TR rule that we're not doing.
That looks pretty fun. It's a vibe. It's still be a lot more fun than playing TRs, at least until like really in-game TR. Like a little weaker than I thought I would be at this point, but not by a lot. I can't fight you if you're in that corner. I can't spawn corpses in there. Uh, I think I pressed my life bar when I had an ignite on me. I thought it was CB. A pillar. Grab that guy. I'm gonna roll this granite flask. Assuming I have four bobbles, which I hope I do by now. Approach. A bone ring. Playing knife. Pause. You know what's made eventually? Eh, probably not. No. Oh, we'll check. Damn, only have two. Unlucky. Make them tankier. Let's go. Get him in that. Yeah, I think my plan is to full complete all white and yellow maps, and then we'll kind of see where I'm at after that point on my power level. I'd love if I could immediately just farm blue T10s, but I don't... I think if I have my 6 link on and Uber Lab done, I probably can do that. But we'll see. That would be ideal. One unfortunate thing about this build is because you are like, you know, a corpse based build. When you drop down to T1 maps to magic find or whatever, like you do way less fucking damage. So it's not, it's not very simple. It's not as simple as just like, oh, I'm, I do five mil DPS. Now I'll go to T1. It's like when you're at five mil, go to T1s and you're at like one mil. So, so like low tier magic finding probably won't be as good as like an end game bone zone or a end game TR would do. Upside, you don't die. Yeah, I mean the flat spell damage component of this what the fuck uh, of this skill is pretty relevant, even in the hyper end game. It's like one third of my damage from the flat spell, which is very surprising. So like that's still gonna help.
one tank mod. We're copying each other's strategy. The minor difference though is, uh, I think even Drua technically is the one that inspired this build to actually be played. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna boss on it and he's going to uh, change to a, a build that isn't bad for bossing. Magic Vine T-Shot, yo. Can I borrow a mirror to mirror Fizbo? I promise I'll give it back. Yeah, a small loan. Ooh, those were very decent. A double if when are you gonna log into the gauntlet? It's time. Think of all the fun. Yeah, full yes, I was only gone for a second. Not on that one, boss life and people, life is a yes, you know. Than Gwen in this taint mod map. Where's my Tusions at? I might need to go spec into more Tusions, I don't know. I need some currency. Is it, yo, is, is Alk wild reducing yet? I bet he is. I bet he's already doing 3k wisp maps. I already four Ubers, fuck. I got a wild with juice. I mean, eventually I will to get the currency and stuff. But like, I'm, you know, low 80s, this is just not the time. I'm still gonna weak at this point. Oh, in a week. I should, I should have like no currency even though I'm doing an expedition. Uh, I think it's time to go into shadow. Every map is just awful. I have a Kyrick now. I guess.
please. All right, nice. Four bonus. We're almost at logbooks. Obscorp slice go with Wild Juice. Nope. Wild Juice is just less damage taken as a buff. The first time Sarah still a thing? Yep. I'm sure there's gonna be a few guys in this gauntlet doing that kind of stuff, yeah. Still in Act 1. Hey man, dude. Alright, Tusion. Yeah, Act 1 is really hard. One thing about Act 1 though that is nice is because Act 1 monsters aren't balanced around you having high resist, Hen isn't like that insane in Act 1. It's mainly just like the haste monster damage pisses chaos that like kinda hurts a bit. And the you know, and the multi proj. But the pen part isn't like as relevant in Act 1. Chaos Orb. Uh, dude, as soon as I finish my yellow maps and white maps and I can't get more plus ones, I feel like I'm gonna go into with like withdrawal or something and it's gonna be bad. Like having the patience to not enter red maps when it's a plus one right there, just asking to be ran, like, uh, I don't wanna think about it. Got raided, badass. By who? I mean, it's this that earlier, right? Everyone was swimming high, I didn't actually see who it was. Can you cure it complete? Yeah, that's the plan. This raid? Oh, thank you. Welcome. Someone got the 100k tooltip? Really? That's actually sick. Like, do you mean like they did it in game or they just like planned it?
been submitted. Badass. Yeah, my tooltip is a uh, 5k. How's this looking? Necro, Necro, Necro. Where the, where's the Slayers at? Why are all these Juggernauts ahead of Slayer? I thought I thought Slayer was good. Those boots are good. It's like a Redscraft angle or a Moosecraft angle or something. We'd lose casters there to do it. Not gonna do it yet. One, two, three, four. Almost there. The cards with tenor gets to go slayer. I hope not. That 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 lab bounty was submitted. Wasn't that lab bounty submitted like super early? Didn't NPM game that one? Why, I, why is my cast rate so slow right now? What is this debuff? Is this just chill to ground? I fucking hate lighting totems. And not being chill immune. percent chill ah uh. not slow immune because I didn't play the right build bone zone juggernaut Yeah, because I'm not playing TR Gucci. Celestial dust the car. Yo. Too much 
Didn't curse it? Yeah, of course not. I'm a coward. You tell me you cursed that guy? Oh, yo, that's a small upgrade. Should we go this one and see what we got? Hey. Use core room with teleport point TR and teleport combined. Did the aura turn off? Yeah, it did. Spooky.